Yeah, you alien. just sort of you sort of start that. We're Hello. talking about Hello. alien isolation. Talking about what? Alien, alien isolation, isolation, the video game. I didn't like that game at all. That's yeah. what we're all saying. I was just I was just saying, saying it's like basically Outlast, but with an alien skin. Game. It's so repetitive. Like literally. It's after, the same, after it's about the same an hour, hour of gameplay loop in a 20 hour game yeah. or some shit. After about an hour, you're sat there and you're like, I'm not scared of this anymore. You're just sat there going, all right, fuck off so I can do the next objective. It, room, it's the fact that it thing. sets you back so far every yeah. time you, fu you fucking Ass. get killed by this alien with the bullshit detection. But it's so like, good. It's like, what you go so to objective, good? press no, button, being hide in locker, wait. Being a, being a contrarian. Come out of locker, Contrarian. press next button, go into locker, wait. Yeah, no, it's ass. We um, haven't hey gamers, yet. welcome to Dungeon Select, session forty of uh, our campaign that we named Elements of Keldar. Uh, it's also, to, I mean, our one year anniversary of this campaign is uh, this Tuesday, so this is as close as we're gonna get for, for a one year anniversary session. So uh, you know, a year of this campaign, missed twelve sessions, did forty. That's you know, track record wise. It's Decent, decent. Especially considering we have for us. a winter break. <clears throat> yeah, we've had uh, we've had some some unexpected cancels and stuff, but you know, all, all in all, pretty fucking decent. You um, know, we have a winter break. We have a Thanksgiving. We have you know. Yeah, exactly. I wonder how many I've actually been here for? Yeah, you missed a lot because you're fucking <laughs> less than half. Yeah, maybe twenty five. I have missed at least half. I think. You were literally our Ashley Johnson. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think less I've legitimately attractive. only played like. 20 I was just about to say the exact like, opposite, of you. <laughs> but more attractive. Yeah, I was gonna say, but way prettier. Like, come on. <laughs> uh, oh, is he still here? Because uh, he, yeah, I mean, Kai, Kai, Kai's a boy that joined reason. the party for uh, for uh, the foreseeable future, the being a part of uh, the crew of the Porcupine. Um, do we have any announcements before we uh, get into it? Yes. Uh, episode three of Call of the Nether Deep will be up on my YouTube either this evening or tomorrow morning. So if you missed it on Friday, you can catch it there. It oh, was yeah. a shorter session, but a good one. We had our first like party bonding and RP and some lore and some backstory things sprinkled in. It was a good time. So yeah, watch it. <laughs> yeah, it out. Worth staying up or for. Or go watch tomorrow. it on the Twitch VOD immediately after Dungeon Select while it's uploading to YouTube if you're impatient. I watched it uh, today. Oh yeah. Was yeah. I'm really enjoying that campaign so far, and uh, I feel like, uh, you know, the group of people. It's it's a great group to to have do stuff like that together, and the characters as well. But it's 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 a good time. It's a good time. Not that great. I'm not in it. That's true. You know, yeah, you can, that's you can, why it's you all. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> damn. Um. Yeah, we had uh, some. It's been a hot one this week. Oh, yeah. And it's a hot one today, so uh, I'm struggling. And I also am working with limited supplies when it comes to D&D. Because I forgot my dice, I forgot my notebook when I moved my setup down here. So I'm gonna... It's, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. I'm a mess. It's hot. Campbell. Bear with me. I'm in, sh I'm in the mood. Oh, you're but, a uh, mess. In the fucking mood. I'm in the fucking mood. Not a hot mess. Fucking... But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Anyone else have any announcements before we want to get going? Yeah. Uh, I just want to reiterate, it's really fucking hot, dude, mm. and I hate it a lot. Mm -hmm. That's really it. We, we do be dying. Yep. Uh, it's like a crisp 14 degrees Celsius. Oh, I hate you right so now. much. I, I guess so I have My man has a fucking hoodie on. I do. Oh. I do, because we keep it actually pretty cold in here. In the Arkansas summer, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, but I have AC in here. We keep it at, like, so it's, yeah. Yeah, it's imagine having fucking Fahrenheit. AC. Have you tried yeah, maybe um, go fuck yourself? Hand. True. 65 sounds like uh, have you tried just uh, buying AC forehead? Oh, true. My bad. Uh, yes. Let me... Buy AC over here. Not like it's fucking like a grand per yeah, fucking unit or anything. Yeah, a no, grand for a window unit it. that doesn't fit in windows in most British houses. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah buy yeah. a window unit and then you have to buy like an adapter cloth that goes around it. Yeah. And even then, oh, yeah. like. Buy, buy and then an you AC lose unit. all of that because it's not sealed properly. Yeah. My electricity bills are uh, an all time high. It's yeah. ass. Ooh. It's ass. Hey, um, bro, I can I can hook you up with some solar panels that would help. Oh, uh, nobody fucking asked. Um, TLDR: If any of y'all yeah. in the heat wave need to take extended breaks today, or like do what you got to do to make sure you guys are looking after yourselves, make sure you're doing it. Stay dude, hydrated. Just do what I tell Dutch. Just stick some ice packs under your shirt. All right? Oh, dude, I was tempted to stick an ice pack. I have my, just I have my feet between in a, my legs. In a foot you know? bath, and it's so fucking good. Um, <laughs> did you have an announcement, Beanie? Like, did you pipe up before? Yeah, I have a mini talk? announcement. Go on. Um, 
either this week or next week, I'm returning to the streaming things. Yo! I was retiring. I, you know, I've taken like fucking six weeks off for family bereavement and shit. And now that everything else is sorted and I have a week off coming up, not tomorrow, but the Monday after, I'm off work for a fucking week. And I've got like Damn. three days where I actually need to do shit. And then otherwise, I'm either getting, gonna need to like stream or I'm gonna have a breakdown. That's so. Enough. Yo, is OG the same also boat, a lie. zero sugar coke, cherry coke enjoyer? I am indeed, yeah. My man, let's go, dude. And at the moment, I'm using it to uh, cool myself down because it just came out of fucking Fuck yeah, freezer. Dude. So Fuck I'm like, yeah, oh. Yeah, it's, uh, it, we're a mess, but you know, it, is, it will be fine. It's, it's starting tomorrow, it's going to cool down uh, a little bit, though, so that's good. It's going to be like 20, it's a lot here tomorrow. 27 I think I'm also degrees, but it's going to be fucking week. storming all day, and I'm here for it, dude. I'm just going to stand on my balcony in, in the fucking rain and just... Oh, I'm just gonna I'm scream. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna take my clothes off I'm on the gonna... balcony and storm. Nice. I'm gonna oh, return to I'm streaming at some point this year. Nice. Wait, really? Like, actually? Yeah, what would you want? Because there's only to? four months left, Koiba. Yeah. Yeah, next, like, Cherry Select is so... gonna probably, like, do his one stream of yeah, the year. Yeah, do one. Like, he's gonna, do, he's gonna do his one, like, clock in of the year. I love how I do want to stream. Because it makes me feel like I'm not the least consistent streamer of the Hello. group. Yeah, no, true. True, true. Uh, I, I don't know. I might take his title, bro. I mean, I'm, I'm coming yeah, for it. That's true. That's true. That's true. I haven't streamed since June. God damn. Uh, I haven't streamed since April. Last year, yeah, like <laughs> And then before Winning that, life. only consistent streamer here. Hell and then, and then before that, Laura. Woo. Then yeah. Before that, it was actually wait. OSG is pretty consistent. Anyway, well, that's true. Uh, I think Laura takes the cake though for being. I, Laura takes the cake on most. Yeah. Laura actually has like a definitely a just second. Let's not second count out my boy. I do. I do it every now and then. I mean, right. I just, I just, I just I just to stream. stream less, and then I then, then If you say out. that you're not gonna stream and then you don't stream, isn't that the most consistent? That is also true. To be fair, that's also mm. very consistent. Consistently I shit. Thought, uh... But consistent. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, James um... is right. He takes the cake for not streaming. True. Let's play some fucking D and D. Let's play some fucking D and D, boys <laughs> and uh, and girl. Because Belle's not here. Forgot to mention that Belle's not here. She miss. She's missing our one year anniversary. I don't know campaign. whether to cheer or to cry. Like she she hates us clearly. Cheer. The boat for sure. The boat. Um. She's gonna miss out on a shopping episode. Alrighty. La oh, shit. <laughs> Last we left off, you guys uh, went to the Artificer Halivara's tower to check up on him, as he had gone missing. Um, for the three sisters who run the magic shop. You went there, got approached by a large arcane uh, guardian, which uh, was called TAG, or the Arcane Guardian, Unit 005, um, who informs you that something went wrong. All the, all the constructs in the tower had gone, gone rogue and uh, were attacking everything. The only reason he wasn't... Uh, Affected by that was because of some protective barrier that was put over the basement in case of emergencies, but it seems that Halivara wasn't able to make to the basement before uh, that, that, that issue struck. So you guys fought your way and puzzled your way through the tower to get to the top floor. You, you had to fight through some metallic sentinels, you had to persuade a door, uh, reset a password for a certain teleportation device that he had crafted, uh, but eventually you got to the top of the tower and found Halivara stuck inside one of his latest creations. Uh, essentially, the D&D version of a, of a mech suit. Um, large metal soldiers that could be controlled from the inside by the Blue Sentinels uh, to, to help in battle. Uh, mostly for a defensive thing. If, say, cities like Eldilon or Strathmore get, get, get attacked, they can pull those out and definitely do a lot more than the average soldier would be able to do. Um, you banged up the the prototype of this of this cre uh, of this um, particular construct enough for Halivar to be able to get out. Uh, he paid you a little a little little pocket money in the form of ten platinum each. So thank you for saving him. You then went back to the three sisters to bring the good news that he was okay and everything was settled. And you got rewarded with five hundred gold store credits each to spend at their magic shop. Uh, and it's now. Well, you know, the afternoon, you have about half a day left before, uh, well, you, you can finish out the rest of the day to do kind of, you know, whatever you want to do in and around Strathmore, and then tomorrow morning, bright and early, is when the porcupine makes dock at Strathmore to pick you boys up, and uh, for you guys to embark on your quest to retrieve Umberlee's trident. No pressure. Yeah. 
number. <laughs> so you're all kind of gathered at like the the the, the, the marketplace, the trade district of uh, of uh, the city of Strathmore. What you guys want to do? Uh, I mean, I'll probably. We have not like left the shop right yet. We were still sort of like in the shop. We'll say. I we mean, even if you did, you're at the, the trade district still, so it's very easy to just yeah. go back inside. It's... Yeah, I'll, I I want to. I'll, I'll go back inside and just say what. Not, no, not, not uh, sure. Um, yeah, and, uh, no, it just. Uh, I think the voucher had a little look around, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You're so we've mind. got the voucher. I might as well have a look and have a mind. Maybe want to save up for something, you know? Maybe look at something a little bit more pricier than we usually get and see. Because, you know, we have this. this All voucher. our resources and uh, buy me something nice. You know what? You can get. Um... Nice. Excuse me. You know, something, something from like the, you know, the little bit they get you to get you to buy more so it's something like cheap by the counter you know just to get you like a little um, extra if, if one of you can convince me i'll give you mine don't just play this game because brooks will convince you quite easily <laughs> and i won't well he has to find something that you know then convince me that he has to find it. something that Jax would find entertaining <laughs> which means it either needs to be inc incredibly intricate or so an explosive device explosive yes an explosive device or, or made of electrum or something that you don't know how it works, and you just bought it for, you know, the giggle. Exactly. And <laughs> basically, either an expensive trinket that we have no idea what it does, or something that will explode. Or both. And if it does both, <laughs> well... That's just an added bonus. Yes, I'll okay, go... Explosives, the best kind of explosives. <laughs> no, wait, Nothing ever I... goes wrong if you over explosives. Complicate? <laughs> yeah. It, you know when you complicate something to the point where it's ridiculous? Okay. It becomes complicated. That makes lots of sense. But, uh, it's the look back at the group of like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll go, I'll go back into the, the, the three sisters. Uh, Kai will follow me. Okay, okay. Go as well. Um, I'm gonna go too, and Dutch, I'm specifically looking for anything, uh, if there's any items that have a similar effect to the thoughts and prayers that I bought a case of, but as a repeated use magical item instead of single use. Okay. Anything like that. <clears throat> um, so you, so who, which one, so it's, are you all just entering the shop again or is it just the last one? And, Probably, and yeah. And, uh, walk in? Make you it all... simpler and everyone was yeah, we'll just... someone. Alrighty, um, so you see one of the sisters uh, standing at the, the till. Um, uh, Cheery is standing there, and she's back so soon, I see. You know, just thought about going on a long trip, I thought maybe uh, get some ideas in mind, I've actually had a proper look around. Alright, uh, and anything in particular that you're looking for, or do you want me to just kind of um, list I off mean, I'm things? always in the market for like a, a nice shield. Nice shield, oh. okay, we have a... This one's also a bit battered up and kind of look at the shield that's on, like the small sort of arm shield that's on that's in wrist. Fair enough, fair enough. Let me just uh, have a look for you, and then I'll... Uh... This is where I fucking whip out the magic shop generator, boys. Pop, 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 bomb. Beep, pop, boop. Boom. Bang. Shebang. Um, as far as shields go, um... Obviously, if we don't have anything in stock, it is very easy, especially now that Halivara is, you know, back uh, from his uh, little hiatus, so to say. Uh, you can probably um, commission something so that we can just have Halivara uh, work on it. We'll make sure it's top priority for you guys, um, if, if you have time like that. But other than that, uh, we'll, we'll, as far as shields go, um, what would you like it... Would you like it to just be... A little more protective than your average shield, or would you want anything anything special? Uh... Um, you know, a little bit both, I guess. Sometimes I, I don't mind either way. You know, just something that is a little bit, you know, heartier would be good. But you know, I'm not going to complain at one that might also, I don't know, do something extra special. All right, all right, fair enough. Let's keep my options open. 
Uh, anyone else with anything uh, while I'm looking for stuff? Might as well. I'm I'm gonna take off my belt, the little vial that I have filled with a single like serving of the thoughts and prayers drink, and mm -hmm. then just write on a page of my talking journal something that mimics this, but can be used more than once, and show it to her. Hmm. Very tasty drink that. I've had uh, the, the mistake of trying uh having those when i'm actually a little 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 too intoxicated so you know sometimes you, you lose a grip of what you want people to know and not know and things get messy but um I, mean, I suppose it has its uses um we don't really have anything like that in stock right now um uh, because that's kind of a special request and would definitely involve custom making and enchanting uh you know a piece of armor or jewelry of your choosing uh, to 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 get that, uh, it will take a little while. But um, like I said, uh, it can be commissioned. Uh, I, I'm afraid we won't have anything like that in store right now, though. I'll just nod in understanding and put the vial back on my belt. As far as um, shields go, real quick, let's have a look. Um, what would the um, the budget be? We'll see what... We'll say an unlimited budget for now, because I can always save up. That's fair enough, that's fair enough. Um, okay, well, we have, um... Something that we call, uh... It, it's, it's an animated shield. Which, basically, it's, uh, it's, it's a shield. But, uh, it has a certain command word, which makes it, uh, animate. As in, it will leap to the air, hover, uh, around you to protect you, as if you were wielding it, but leaving your hands free. So that you can still use both your hands to do other things while enjoying the benefits of having a shield anyway. Okay, how much does that fetch? Um, a little pricey, I'm not going to lie to you, but, um, you know, you, 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 you said, uh, unlimited, right? So, this would be, um, you know, like, like, like 30,000 gold pieces? You see that? Just go. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, obviously. Last from getting another nosebleed. Yeah, <laughs> but it's just like. <laughs> I can I can see yeah. by your facial that, that uh, expression that that might be a little too much. Um, how about anywhere I mean, between the you know the one and five thousand gold range? Would I that mean, be that's a little, uh, that's a little more within budgeted range, shall we say? All right, all right, all right. In the realistic um, range for now. You know, I might come back in a few years. Yeah, fair enough. Who, who knows? Um, Good. A bit damp in my house, could you know? Mm, that's, that's fair enough. Um, we have something called the uh, Sentinel Shield, uh, which gives you, um, you know, you're way more perceptive of things while while uh, wielding the shield, um, and you also might be able to, um, you know, say a fight breaks out and you 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 know you you tend to. Uh, not really respond very quickly in in such a fight it might help you with that as well um is that something that might be useful to you and how much does that go for this one um it's a little more affordable this one will be 500 gold oh very interesting uh, we also have a, uh, a shield of missile attraction. Uh, what this does is, uh, if you say you, you're wearing the shield, say you get hit by uh, projectiles, the things that come at you from, from a range, uh, instead of uh, right in your face, uh, will just not be as harmful to you as uh, they may be now. Um, we also, obviously, we just have shields that have a little enchantment on How them. How much is that shield more... of missile attraction? This would be 3,000 gold pieces. Okay. Um, let's see. There's also the, um, the, the similar shield, but different. This one's called the Arrow Catching Shield, which um, instead of, you know, reducing the, the, the damage you feel from attacks from a range, this will just make it so that um, compared to, you know, when you're attacked face-to-face -to -face by somebody... You know, the difficulty to, to hit you or dodge or duck out of the way, you just shield to protect you will be the same. But if it's ranged, you know, you see it coming. Therefore, it's a little harder to hit you from, from a distance. 
And price change that one? Is it... uh, this one would be 2,000 gold pieces. I have a, just a quick question. Um, hmm? How much would you say this cloak that I'm wearing, you know, sell for? Mm, I recognize the, um, you know, the, the decoration and, and, and uh, filigree on it. Is that uh, the cloak of displacement, perhaps? It is. Um, let me have a look. That would probably, you know, given that we have to make a profit on it, I'm willing to take that off your hands for uh, 1,500 gold. Mm-hmm. 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 Thing that I always forget about. <laughs> that is true. You might as well fucking sell it. <laughs> Versus is another thing to forget about. <laughs> yeah, but I remember. I remember a shield more. I feel like I remember a shield more than a cloak. Because I like. I remember. don't think you will. There's only one way to find out. I mean, that sounds great. I'll trade the cloak and that you know the voucher I just got. Okay. Five hundred. Mm -hmm. What? You're really What's gonna up? get rid of that cloak? Well, I mean, yeah. I want a shield. So that but would be the shield hard of, be the shield of arrow both. catching, yes? Oh, hard to hit with both. Hmm, he does make a good point there. Sorry? But I feel like they don't act... I feel like they don't, like, work together. I feel like I have to, you know, do... Well, I suppose technically they could. Because the displacement one that is, uh, you know, the, the, the fucks up once, it's gone for the rest of the uh, endeavor, right? The shield is just kind of a... It's just kind of there. It's kind of there, yes. I'll do the trade. All right, fair enough. On oh, the shield of arrow, mm. was it arrow catching? Shield of arrow cool. catching, yeah. So what that does, uh, it's uh, it's a standard five E item, so it oh, should okay. be able to. Yeah. I'll just took um, Or arrow catching shield, sorry, arrow dash catching shield. Oh, I can just type in shield um, to come up properly. So you have a plus two bonus to AC against uh, range attacks. Uh, so you you in it, and that's in addition to the normal shield bonus to your AC. Oh, oh yeah. So against melee, you just get the normal plus two AC for having a shield. Mm -hmm. Against range attacks, I guess technically you'll have a plus four to your, to your AC. Um, and also, fun mm. little thing, in addition, whenever an attacker makes a range attack against a target within five feet of you, you can use your reaction to become the target of that attack instead. Well, that's never getting used. So that is also a thing that it does. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. there you go. <laughs> when it starts to become that, uh, would that be like whatever role, would, would I declare that obviously before the roll of like to hit uh it doesn't say so i guess you could just go with uh it's basically if somebody makes a range attack against like say daigon who's right next to you you can just you can just kind of like see that and dive in front of her with the shield to block it. So you, can, you can you can basically announce that after it's been, been announced that it hits or not because that's the whole point mm. you see that it hits someone it's going to hit someone else and you interject nice. or intercept yeah cool nice <laughs> So, you, know, you, you never know. My, my, you know, it probably oh, won't people, I, can't damages, wait to, I can't wait to forget to add plus two to like an arrow yeah, layer and try die to, from it. You know, write it down somewhere. Like whatever AC it has on your shield, plus two against range attacks. Oh, be fine. All right. Uh, anyone else want anything? Or looking for uh, anything? I will step forward and like. You said something about a sentinel shield. Could I have a little look at that? Uh, the sentinel shield, yes, of course. Um, it's the I'm one that makes you a little more receptive. Uh, oh, what did I say the price was? Did I say 200? I remember saying 200. 500. 500. Was it 500? Oh, well, you should have should have convinced me. You know, An honest customer, appreciate it. Uh, 500 gold, yes, which I guess that would be your, uh, your voucher uh, taken care of, if uh, that's something uh, you're interested in. Um, it's, uh, and she'll, she, she kind of just pulls it out and it's, it's a wooden shield, uh, very, uh, very light compared to like, like the more like m m mainly metal shields, but it, it's made of wood. So it's very, very portable and not, it doesn't really like weigh you down that much. And yeah, it looks like a shield, man. Okay. He will just kind of move his shell. So the shield on his back kind of to the side so you can actually reach it <laughs> like at the moment i'm using this 
if mm -hmm. I'm taking this one, I don't really need this anymore. Do you see any value in this, or...? Is that just an ordinary shield? It is just a shield, yeah. Oh, I mean, I suppose uh, if it's not too banged up, we can get it enchanted and uh, and stuff like that, so... Uh, for a normal shield... Uh, I can give you five golds and take the shield off your hands. Fair enough, because I'm not going to use it if I got another shield. So yeah, fair. So... Just put it on the, on the table. You want to just uh, use up your uh, your whole five hundred gold credit and just give you five gold back in you know in in change for the uh, for the shield that you're uh, leaving with us? That sounds very good. Yes. All right. So there you go. You uh, receive the Sentinel Shield, which gives you advantage on initiative rolls and perception checks. Man, I was tempted with that, but my rape already gave me initiative. I was like, mm, yeah. I can't get double initiative. <laughs> no, that's not double advantage. Can, can you use your vigilant blessing on yourself? Yes. Then you can also just give yourself advantage on initiative. Yeah. Like, I have a so I I be able to give myself initiative, have a repeat that does it, and I could have had a shield that was given. Yo, can I just roll <laughs> six? Can I roll sixty twenty for my initiative every time? No, advantage. Advantage. Go fuck yourself. On on that note, though, quick question: Do any of us have a vigilant blessing left over from last session? Right now, I can't nope. remember. Okay. Because we you had last one. person to get it, as far as I know. I was the last person was to Jack's. get it. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Jackson and used it. special. All right. Is so anyone else and looking for any, any shopping? Uh, we also have potions and, uh, and that sort of thing. Yes? Anyone else before me? Sorry? Anyone else before me? Everyone else is done. Like I'll do work. some shopping then. Why not? What are you looking for, good sir? Okay, so. <sighs> First off, let's have a look and see if there's anything that goes boom. Why not? Anything that goes boom. No. Like no. I do a preemptive. She's oh, not here. But here? if I if I say you get like the biggest, uh, most obnoxious sigh and eye roll from Kess, I feel like that's probably accurate. Yeah. You know, you also yeah, get like the no. An executive decision for her. It's that no, Brooks. <laughs> yeah. That oh come on. Um, like that that whiny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you say anything that goes boom, um. We have these um, enchanted orbs that if you throw them, they don't go boom, but uh, you, you chuck it somewhere and it will uh, just splinter out in, in, in thousands of needles and just stab anyone in the vicinity. That sounds interesting. How much are they? Uh, they'll be uh, like 100 gold each. So we call them each. we call them orbs of hail of thorns. Orbs of hail of thorns. Yes. Might want to shorten the name, but okay. Oh, well, it's the you know hail of thorns spell enchanted on an orb. Therefore, it's an orb of hail of thorns. I guess orb of thorns might be better. I don't know. We'll workshop the name orb, a little bit. Orb but... of thorns works. Orb of thorns. Um. Well, what else? Anything that would bolster my defense as someone that's a bit more on my feet. Um, so you're not really looking for, like, armor or that sort of thing, right? Bracers or rings, that sort of thing. Bracers. Um, I mean, I suppose we could have... We have these, uh, these, these bracers of defense. Which, um... Are a little pricey, but, um... And only work if you aren't wearing armor, so... For you, I suppose, that is perfect. Um, basically gives you the protection as if you are wielding a shield, but you're not wielding a shield, it's just the bracers. Um, they're a little pricey, it's like... But, uh, you know, it's... Uh, how, how much is a little pricey? 2,000 gold pieces. Okay. And then... There was this one item I saw. Hmm? Oh, at a different shawl. Do you have a bracer of flying daggers? A bracer of flying daggers? Let me have a look for you. Um, again, pretty pricey, but uh, I do believe we have a pair in stock. How much are they gonna run me? 2500. Oh. 
Right, okay. So I guess, you know, you have the voucher, so it, it would be 2,000 out of pocket. Unless you have something you could put up to trade against it, just like your friend here did. I just have to have a little bit around in my bag. Uh, I'm just sort of running through a list of things that might be useful. Even if it's mundane items, we can have them enchanted and make them more useful, so every little bit helps, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Um, what about a stone of good luck? Stone of good luck? I can't say I've heard of such an item. Um, okay. Stone of good luck, you say, yes? If I was wanting to purchase one or have one made. Actually, hold on a minute. Well, could it, in real in reality, it could just be any stone, right? As long as it's you know the, it has the enchantment on it. I I guess. Hold on, and she'll <clears throat> she grabs like a like a, a gemstone from uh from one of the drawers and puts it on the desk. Well, we were gonna use these you know the gemstones that we get. We typically use them as spell components, but I suppose um. I can I can quickly pop over to Halivara and, and this should be a relatively simple enchantment if you have a few you know if you have like an hour spare. How much would it cost? This is all comes down uh, to price. How much would it cost? 100, 150 gold pieces probably. Would take. That 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 one's actually not that bad. Okay, hmm. that one is more within a decent realm. I was going to go pop over to Alivara anyway to check on him, so I can just take this gem with me and see if he's up to getting the enchantment done today, and then you can pick it up um, you know, whenever. You know. If I wanted to get my brass knuckles enchanted, mm -hmm. how much would that cost? Well, that fully depends on the enchantment you want to put on it. The more powerful, the more time-consuming it will be, and more resource resources it will take to do. Therefore, the what, sort what of you? like, the like base generic improvement, and then maybe the one above that. Uh, so you're asking for plus one or plus two, right? Yeah. Um. Uh, the basic improvement we can probably do. It's what time is it now? Um, if Halivara's up to it, and I'll say that it's you guys, and hopefully, uh, that that will help. The you know the base improvement I can probably have done by tonight. Um. Uh, the more advanced one will probably be like a week or so. Base improvement will set you back 250 gold. The one above that will be a little more expensive. So I have about 500. Okay. Um. If you are trying to you know, I, I do, will... do math, um, whatever of the voucher or store credits you don't end up spending in one go, We'll just write it down, and we'll, it, 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 it never expires, so you can just come back for that. Okay. Don't, don't feel forced I to spend it all now, is what I'm saying. I have a hand axe of Thunder Wave, but if mm -hmm. that isn't going to sell for a lot, I'll keep it, because it is sort of useful on occasion. Next of Thunder Wave. I also have a Ring of Obscuring, which, again, if it's worth peanuts, I'd rather keep it. If it's worth decent money, I don't use it mm, often. The hand axe... I could give you probably a hundred gold for it, if that. Um, it's not a very advanced enchantment, and we need to turn a profit, of course. What was the other thing? Uh, Ring of Obscuring. Ring of Obscuring. A Ring of Obscuring would probably also be in the ballpark of 100 to 150 for us to purchase of you. Okay, well, since I'm not about to start pulling 2,000 gold out of my pocket right now, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I would like to have the Stone of Good Luck enchanted for me. Alright. Uh, I would like to have my 
Bracers enchanted for the, the 250 gold option. All right. And then I will have an Orb of Thorns as well, please, for... Yeah, that'll be 500 exactly, right? If my math is not uh, failing me. Absolutely. 100 for the Orb, 150 for the one item, 250 for the other. Yes, um, sure. And she'll put one of the Orbs on the, on the desk. Uh, she'll pocket the uh, gemstone and she'll take your brass knuckles off of you. Um, swing by the shop tonight and I'll probably have both of these uh, ready for you. Okay, I will pop around. All right. Later on. Is everybody done for now? No. All right, good sir. What can I do for you? Do you, by any chance, have an efficient quiver? An efficient quiver? Oh, we actually do come across um, a lot of, of, of archers, rangers, hunters, and gatherers. So we do we do commission. Uh, you know, enchanted arrows and quivers on a regular basis. Let me quickly have a have a, a ponder in our. Uh, and she basically the way the way she's checking her stock. By the way, is there's this like big book that she slapped on the ta desk, which is just like the the, the stock of everything and, and what they have and what's on order and that sort of thing. It just opens up to like a touch screen though. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the yellow pages of magic items. Uh, pretty much. Uh, we do actually have a couple of those in stock. Actually, they're not uh, super. Uh, you know. Uh, in, in, complicated to, to enchant for a Harivara, so they're also pretty affordable. Uh, well, pretty affordable for people in your line of work that, that sometimes get paid a good amount of funds. Um, th this will set you back about 200 gold. Which definitely fits within your budget with your 500 gold uh, yeah. voucher. Yeah, that's pretty good, okay. Um, Alright. Put me down for one of those. Alright. Um, how much? Wait, wait, wait. Would you be able to refill my restorative ointment by any chance? Uh, yes. Um, is is sure we, we do have um larger batches of 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 of, of that sort of thing uh in the back, so I could easily just top it up for you. Uh, is it completely done or? Oh yeah, it's it's done. All right, um, we do charge about forty gold per dose. A dose, so yes. as in, if I wanted a full jar, that would be two hundred gold. Uh, I, I, it f escapes me how many doses fits in a bottle. Exactly, uh, well, but... I, I think you can fit about five. Then yes, that would be two hundred so. gold. Yes. Right, and that. Puts it's a bit me cheaper four... than uh, you know if you do the math and look at healing potions. Definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, for, no, bank for your gold. Works for me. I'm just just making sure I got that right. Um, mm -hmm. and that puts me at what four hundred? Yes. Anything you want to throw in there for the hundred? Anything you might recommend? Um, you wouldn't happen to have uh, to to have. I know that uh, people, archers like yourself tend to have access to the Hail of Thorns spell, so what else I could one of those throw one of those orbs in there for you, but if uh, you already have access to the spell, then it might not uh, be worth your time or your money. Nah, I don't think that's my sort of thing. Be a it's a grenade. Uh, let me have a look. Preferably something that doesn't require attunement but you know it's not completely off you know whatever like uh, it, it's okay if it requires attunement but preferably not you know right 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 let me have a look for you um well i mean <laughs> i have an alchemy jug which I don't know how, you know, it could be useful, uh, but do you know what an alchemy jug is? I would l I would love to know. Okay, so it's this big it's jug, familiar. right? And it has like 10 different uh, places you can pour liquid from, but each, because of the enchantments, each, um, you know, uh, uh, pouring point, I, the word escapes me, and it's my infernal kicking in, um, pours out a different liquid. So there's acid, poison, but also beer, honey, mayonnaise, oil. Vinegar, uh, w fresh water, salt water, and wine. So you know it's a uh, a mixed batch. Wine and you speak 
can you speak to the quality <laughs> of the beer and the wine that comes out of this thing? How's well, wine? I mean, it's all right. Basic. You know, and the acid is useful, uh, poison in case you want to cold switch your arrows, uh, mayonnaise in case you want to make a sandwich, I don't know. <laughs> Fucking mayonnaise, dude. But to the evolution of the toasted ham and cheese sandwich, we're going to add mayo to it. Oh, um, why would you ruin a good ham and cheese? No, uh, no, 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 no. Beer, you... As far as the beer goes, mm. by the way, um, there's four gallons of beer. It's one gallon of honey, oh, half God. an ounce of poison, eight ounces of acid, uh, two gallons of mayonnaise. Uh... <laughs> Eight gallons of fresh water, twelve gallons of salt water, a gallon of wine, and the best thing about it is, right? Um, you basically, um, oh fuck, how am I gonna fucking be immersive Say while describing? Yeah, exactly. Fuck me. Um, Just tell us. Break the immersion to explain the no. magic item, magic man. Nah, I won't be able to. It it's, replaces every dawn. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's no, it's just like it's um, it's not like you have access to all of the different contents at once. It's kind of like a pick and choose. Um, once you open one side of it, the other ones will remain closed until uh, the next dawn, you kind of thing. Up. Oh. You pick, one, one uh, you, pick, you pick which substance, and that's it for the day. Yes. Yeah, exactly. that's a that's a caveat, but yeah, but it's it's okay. Really Some counterpoint. We could also. I, I mean, what hundred gold for a big jug full of mayonnaise? <laughs> well, what I also could do is um, I could give you some some enchanted arrows to fill up the one hundred gold. You know, some arrows that are a little more a little little sharper than the rest. We have those as well. 20 gold a pop, so I can give you five of those. Uh, how much is a jug? Uh, 75 gold. Probably a jug in... Fuck right. it. Um, you can get at least one arrow and then like a little trinket. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, yeah, well. They um, might have a keychain with your name on. Uh, Davian, you think? Oh, it's magic, isn't it? I'll just fucking... Yeah, it, okay. I'll have it on. Name on. How about... I, this is a little over the 100 gold budget that uh, we have, it... but... If you have some money of yourself to want to put in... Oh, have yeah, you, yeah. Got have you ever... Just wished you could fly? You know, I sometimes watch Onu... And look down at Onu, who's a dog. Well, I mean, you know, he was a bird. I sometimes watch Onu That's fly around, and I'm like, be pretty cool. And... Well... So, with a broom of flying, you would be able to. A fucking broom? Yes, but Which it's enchanted so maybe? that it can, uh, it can, it can carry up to four hundred pounds, and can be ridden in the air. Expensive. It's a fl and it will f awesome. fly at a speed of about fifty feet per six seconds. You're carrying under four hundred pounds on it, or under two hundred pounds on it. Sorry. If it's, over 200 pounds, if it's over 200 pounds, it will become 30 feet for 6 seconds. And also, you can also send the broom to travel alone to a destination within a mile of Actually, you. no. Actually. Actually? Actually? I need something that is going to make it harder to kill me. Because I am very easy to kill. I need whether it's enchanted armor or... Like a fucking headband I can wear that shoots arrows out of the sky or whatever. I are need you, uh, career change. Some... And you don't, but you don't want anything to attune to, right? Is that what you said? I mean, if it's going to save my life, I suppose I can make an exception. Um, well, I have two things. Um, one is a little more niche. One is a little more you know, easy access. Uh, I have a brooch that you could equip. Uh, it's called the brooch of shielding. Uh, which makes it so that force damage in particular doesn't really bother you as much as it normally would, and you are immune to the magic missile spell. It is unable to target you. Mm -hmm. The spell that normally always hits misses you. Very cool. Very uh, intricate enchantment. But we also um, have a cloak of protection, which just makes you a little harder to hit. 
I don't I don't want to get rid of my current cloak. Okay, okay. You already have a cloak, right? Okay. Um... Yeah, yeah. Um, let's have a look. Some I'm losing my mind trying to look at shit on D&D Beyond, and then it's like, <laughs> oh, you need candle keep mysteries to see this. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. It's uh, the classic. <clears throat> Just file the adventures too, forehead. Lol. Let's drop a casual couple grand on D and D Beyond. I mean, let me have a look. I mean, I mean, I'll take some fucking plus one, like studded leather at this point. Yeah, I mean, are you wearing studded leather now? Right now, I am wearing... I think I'm just wearing regular leather. Wait. Where, where do I even know? Where do I see this? Just, it should be in your equipment, right? You're so wearing your basic inventory. leather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, equipment. And you can click on your AC icon, and it tells oh. you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just wearing leather. Um, well, I could, uh, judging by the fact that you're wearing leather armor, I could uh, provide you with... An exact set like that, but enchanted to be a little more protective. Plenty of those in stock, whether it's normal leather or studded leather, up to you. Studded leather will be a little pricier than normal leather, but... Yeah, I think I need... I think I need studded leather. Studded leather? I'm very... Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, no, 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 you know, no slights against your, your enchanting abilities. I just think the armor where I'm where right now is a bit too shit. I don't think the enchantment's going to save me. Fair enough. Um... Two, 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 two. She'll like look at you. Hmm. I suppose, given that done a lot for us and your friends of you know you're, you're giving us i can throw in studded leather that is enchanted uh with the remainder of your 100 gold it's a big discount but given what you've done for us and 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 all the, the you know the shopping that's already been done i'm, I'm okay to to give you that discount wait 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 is this excluding the jug probably I do kind of want the jug. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll give you. I'll give you six hundred total for for the jug and the armor as well. I'll give you the five hundred voucher and I'll give you the other hundred on top. Make a persuasion check. What? That's that's cheap. That's more than he was offering initially. Uh uh uh. Persuasion. Uh, sixteen. Fair enough. That's fine. And I will uh, hand over my voucher and ten platinum. Righty. And you get handed a jug, uh, the quiver that you ordered, uh, a set of plus one studded leather. And what else did you... Did you get something else? Jug, leather, quiver. Oh, yeah, and the, the top up on the ointment. And the top up on the ointment, yeah. Yep. So she, she arranges all of that for you. And uh, slides the tin platinum in a drawer and, and just takes the vouch and like, rips it and chucks it away. All right. I'm gonna drink so much mayonnaise, you guys. I don't recommend Paint. that. You could probably waterboard someone with mayonnaise if you wanted information. I feel like the acid would be way more, you know, if you want the information. Yeah, I mean, the you, acid, you, risk, you waterboard you risk someone with acid, with the acid and they're dead within like also, four or five seconds. No, you don't I feel like them, but... the, the viscous. Oh nature of of mayonnaise would make it a very uncomfortable scenario i mean there's fucking like 20 gallons of salt water or something you could just fuck it it's true there's a lot of salt water in there i would rather have salt water up my nose than mayonnaise mayonnaise i think when you waterboard someone you've got to put a cloth over their face so the mayonnaise would just pull on the cloth it wouldn't get through don't ask why i'm so knowledgeable about waterboarding but are you really discussing the ins and outs of mayonnaise-based water boarding? They've got to be at a slight incline. Be a sleeper, are you a So anyway, anyone else need anything, or are you uh, done? 
Yes. Uh, do you have any firearms? We do, actually. Yo, someone say firearms, and I'll ignite both my... <laughs> Both my arms! Put it away! Put it away! Put it away! Put it away! <laughs> no open like, flames in the shop, please. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, just... You see, like, a shop, like, <laughs> two doors down, just on fire. We <laughs> have, uh, something that we, uh, that we like to call a pepper box. It's, uh, it's a one-handed, smaller firearm. Uh, we'll set you back about 250 gold pieces. That's excluding the ammunition. Um, and how much would the ammunition be? Oh, uh, the ammunition, I believe... For five bullets, it will be uh, one gold piece. One gold piece for five bullets. Okay. Did that my head? That's hard. Hmm. Um... 300 for 50 pieces of ammo in the pepper box. Um, could I get the pepper box? Um, 50 uh, shots. 50 and, shots? Um, oh, oh, and one more uh, 300 uh, diamond. All right, that would make your total um, 560 gold, I believe. 250 for the pepper box. Fifth, no, wait. 300 for the diamond, so that's 550, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah. Plus another 50 for the bullets, so 600, actually. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, I thought my math was right, but yeah. you made so, me So that would be, that would be an extra 100 gold on top, but uh, I'm sure uh, that will be no problem. Uh, yes, that's completely fine. All right. And she'll have put all the stuff you uh, just asked her to get on the counter for you. Have you ever used one of these before? She'll point at the, the firearm. Once upon a time. All right, we are uh, you know, that is obligated to give you a little bit of a, a safety spiel when we sell one of these because it's a little different than buying, than, than buying you know swords and shields. Everybody knows how a sword or a bow works, right? This firearm, there's holes in the front. Do not point, look in them. Do not ever just look in the holes. Um, also, don't point it at things you don't want to shoot. That's it, really. And to shoot it, you just aim it, aim it at whatever you want to shoot, and you pull this little trigger here, and then boom. There is a chance that it will misfire because it's very experimental uh, craftsmanship, but you should be able to just kind of, you know, you seem like a like like somebody experienced in in that sort of thing. To just, you know, you just grab a small tool and kind of just like try and just you know jimmy the, the bullet out or whatever. You, you'll be fine. I think you'll be fine. Uh, th thank you so much. No problem. Fucking call Soko's bought a fucking firearm again. <laughs> hey, I mean, bro. Uh, yeah. Uh, is Jack proficient long, with we're firearms? We're going on a we're going on a fucking what? Is is Jack proficient, proficient firearms? firearms? Nice. Yes. Oh yeah. Fuck you. It's the only reason I would. I didn't <laughs> Let's go. I dude. My dude. Gonna I already have a negative dex. Lock. It's fine. All you right. have negative dex. <laughs> uh, anyone else spending uh, anything here, or uh, are you keeping onto your vouchers uh, until next time? All right. Well, doing pleasure doing business. Have uh, have safe travels, and uh, see you next time. Also, I just like to imagine Jax with the gun is just really shaky. <laughs> it's slightly too we'll heavy. Wait. <laughs> Will I have to wait the same to get my enchanted armor? No, that was all in stock. Like that was all that, that was already made. So you have that. The only person that had to like wait until the end of the evening was was Brooks. Okay. I'm going to attune to my shield. Yeah. Just kind of have it on and be attuned. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you guys have pretty much the rest of the afternoon and mm -hmm. evening to just, you know, do whatever. So, Attune to your stuff, pick up your order, and then if there's anything you want to do or discuss before we move on over to the next day. Does anyone have anything that we need to do We're before we get on a boat in the morning? No. Well, no, I'll really send not. Onu into a bird, but I'll do that in the morning, probably. I think for now we uh, we're probably going to be leaving quite early. It might actually be worth doing that today. I mean, I can do it on the ship. It's not a big deal. Uh, yeah. Don't you need a bra don't you need a bra brazier out of character? No, technically I don't need anything. 
There, oh. There's there's no there's no specific stacks. Oh, yeah, they made it super nice. Him, you need it. No, that's no, a, no, that's no, not that's just flavor. Familiar. Oh, yes, it's really? a ranger yeah. pack. This is I've oh, I've pack. been doing some kind of ritual as flavor, which flavor. I can okay. still do on the boat because I make fire. You know. No I see. Yeah. Oh yeah, always yeah, a good idea. Fire, fire on good. a boat. Okay. What do you think? Hold on. How do you think people see on boats at night? Lanterns are fine, but open flame like you usually open have. Open flame not is great. A, as a big no-no on a boat. And this, of course, is like one that's old, like, like Brazier one. Like, don't Chinese don't they put thing. a lot of work into like making sure boats are always wet? Isn't that what scrubbing the poop deck is about? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. No, like no. it's it's really like we'll be at sea, bro. What are you talking about? Open like come on, man. Not you guys, even abrasive, no. like... that's a place with a lot of water. It's a very <laughs> weird place to go on. Fire. Dude, I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of braces on ships in video games, yeah, and, and I know one thing about video games: it's that they're as close to fact as true. physically yeah, possible. I've also yeah, played games at that, and most of the time the ship I have burns down. So I mean, it's because you know ships out. have cannons, right? You know what cannons use to yeah, to yeah, shoot yeah. balls. No, but it's not an open flame. There's a difference between oh, like, lighting man. torch like that and it going down than having an open, like, campfire type, <laughs> like, fire pit. Please tell me this is an in character know, conversation happening. No. Right no. Oh, that'd be so much better if it was. <laughs> what are video oh. games? <laughs> <laughs> oh, true. I guess never mind. I mean, if a ship is big enough, there is, like, some kind of kitchen in there where you have. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, there is, there is, there, 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 there is fire. Somewhere. There is fire allowed, but obviously within like there's limitations. Big, well, uh, whatever. Big, big, big open fire on the deck. God, you know this, but bigger, most ships, bigger. and like, like historic ships at night just wouldn't see because there was very little light pollution. So as long as it wasn't cloudy, you could see yeah, fine. Yeah, starlight and flames moonlight. Or anything. True, you were true. Good. And even if you did, though, as you long as you had a compass, a if you navigated during the day and knew where you were. As long as you had a compass, you didn't need to see at night. Well, below deck, but yeah, but that's yeah, where and that's where the like then, close yeah, lanterns come in, right? Yeah, so I got like candles or whatever. Yeah, um, open flame right. on a on a ship made of wood. Anything anyone wants to do uh, in their like final like half a day off before? Is it's there any? Time? I just wanna. I'll, I'll have a quick walk around like outside the city and like just sort of nature. Mm -hmm. It's the last time I'm gonna fucking see it for a while. It's dry land, just really take it in <laughs> and just ah, and that's it. Fair enough. Um I wanna go to a a Smith or or yep. weapons dealer there's, or whatever. There's, there's one right across uh the square from the from the magic shop. It is Oh, is there a boyer as well? Sorry, a what? A boyer? A bow maker? A, ba a bowyer? Um, mm. There's some supplies that come into that range of, of, of craftsmanship that is for sale at the general store. Bowyer. There's, yeah. there's no specific oh, bowyer yeah. slash fletcher, though. So if anything, general store probably your best bet. <sighs> okay. I'll skip across the road to the blacksmith real quick. Oh, no, man. General store is pretty shit. They didn't even sell fishing rods. That's not another fishing store. True. Um, <laughs> Where'd you get those fishing rods at the toilet store? <laughs> what is it uh, yep. you want from the Smithy? I want to get rid of some shit because I have a lot of shit to get rid of. You know, just uh, list it all for me, please. Uh, one quarter staff. One, two short swords. Uh, one set of leather armor. Hold on, hold, 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 hold. Uh, two short swords, you said? Stuff. That's what I'm thinking, Laura, honestly. <laughs> two, short, two short swords. Dude, that's every D&D &D game. I know, right? Uh, all right. Leather armor? Yeah. Well, I just took the leather armor off, to be fair. So, mm. like... I'm, I get, oh, shoot. Like, yeah, that yeah. you're probably just legit holding in your hand. The swords are probably in my backpack. One, and, yeah, so... I've got three short swords. I don't even know. I think... I don't even know where I got one of them from. Anything else? So uh, I have uh, the quarterstaff, two short swords, leather armor. I mean, if, if he's taking the fucking quarterstaff, I'll see if he'll take my old longbow as well. So one longbow. Huh? Is that it? Uh... uh 
wait. Oh, hold on. Got to see what I got on my. I have a. Ah, this can't be right. That's that's definitely not in there anymore. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's it. Right, he will offer you fifty gold for that entire like stack of stuff. Sounds good to me. All right. There you go. Now to start removing it all. All no. right. <laughs> Righty. Uh, and you wanted to go to the general store to look for any any sort of like. Oh no! I wanted the general sort of sell the longbow, but oh, right. actually, 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 I will go since there's no I, if there's no Fletcher or Bowie or mm -hmm. anything. I'll go to the general store and I'll just peruse arrows, I guess, because why not? Yeah, uh, there are some you know some some bundles of arrows and bolts uh, on display. Med, the majority of them are just mundane uh, arrows, <clears throat> but there is one bundle of five arrows that seem to be tinkered with in some sort of fashion. Um, Hold on, I had a little, I had a little fucking list of like magic arrows and or like different arrows and shit that I need to pick up. Uh, any, <laughs> any arrows of walloping or walloping arrows? Mm, Seems kind of fun. No, but, but there is a bundle of thunderclap arrows. Okay. Uh, All right. A bundle of blinding arrows. And... Hold up, hold up. Let me see. I need to make sure I know what I have. Okay. Because I still have I still have five blinding arrows, three smoking arrows, eight fire arrows. I'm not interested in more of the same. Mm -hmm. So anything the thunderclap arrows sound sick. Yeah. Uh there's also a bundle that is labeled mind piercers. Oh, it's... Um so, I guess bundles of five both, the Thunderclap and the Mind Pierces? Correct, and they are both uh, 50 gold per bundle. I will pick up both bundles and I will put them down on the counter. Mm -hmm. What do these do? And uh, can I buy them both? Um, well, the Thunderclap arrows, uh, I feel like, you know, uh, Familiar with Thunderclap as a you know as a spell? Have you ever seen anybody cast that perchance? Yeah, like, yeah, you know. In your line of work, you might be able to. Well, uh, the arrows release a thunderous explosion upon impact. Uh, anyone within a ten feet radius of where the impact point is uh, have a chance of just being completely fucked by the blast. Really? Oh fuck! It's damaging. It pushes them back. They fall on their ass. If if it all goes your way. It's pretty, pretty good, pretty useful. Okay, right, 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 yeah, I'll definitely uh, be having those. Those mind pierces are uh, a special one. Um, they do just normal damage as far as arrows go, but the damage um, upon impact, the arrowhead will seep into, into their body, right? And it will just all go to their head. Um, Making it more of a mental damage, more of such than a physical one. And uh, if they uh, get really unlucky, uh, and you know they're not very smart or, or, or anything, um, there'll be some longer-lasting effects of the arrows as well. Just to say that. You do store credit by any chance, and I'll pull out <laughs> eight fire arrows and uh, three smoking arrows. Put them on the counter. I don't know if you do exchanges or anything. Well, the thing is that the fire arrows and the smoking arrows are a lot cheaper than these. Yeah, bundles. of course, of course. I'm not saying I'm not saying a straight a straight trade, but I'm just wondering, would you, you know, maybe take these off my hands, not knock it off the price a little bit? No, I can give you five. Say... Gold. I can give you five gold off if you if you want to turn in those arrows. Um... It's just to give you an example, right? The smoking arrows for a bundle of five it will set you back three gold. These bundles are fifty gold each, so it's just the price. Well, right, really, right, uh, right, 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 right. I'm insane. just, I'm just sort of. Yeah, yeah fuck it. Now I'll, I'll keep these in, and I'll, I'll give you the, give you the, hundred, hundred. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Fine. So you have a bundle of five thunderclap arrows and five mind piercers. For a thunder, if I. If I can enchant a thunderclap arrow, dude, people within 10 feet get fucked, like, <laughs> real quick. 
Yeah, so uh, yeah, just con saving throw or take 2d8 thunder damage, just like thunderclap. It's fucking dope. Uh, the mind piercers, so it's 1d8 psychic damage, and they need to pass an intelligence saving throw or have disadvantage on intelligence and wisdom saving throws for the next three rounds. Okay. But that should add us done. Yeah, these aren't. These are homebrew items, aren't they? Yeah, they are. That sucks. Okay. <clears throat> yes, they are. Oh my god, my chair oh. almost the, the the fucking you know back back flip died. with me on it. Um. All right. Anything else for anyone, or are we all done shopping? Beautiful. Wait, can you just explain the mind piece to me one more time? Uh, 1d8 psychic damage, uh, and they need to make an intelligence saving throw, and if they fail it, they... What's the DC? DC 15. Uh, and if they fail, they'll have disadvantage on wisdom and intelligence saving throws for the next three rounds of combat. Thank you. No worries. <clears throat> and the Thunderclap is also a DC 15, by the way. Okay. Okay. So, you guys, I'm assuming, you know, Brooks goes to pick up his uh, his his, uh, his stuff in the evening. Yeah. Uh, you guys just go to the Red Fleet, have some drinks, have some food, relax, and uh, get a good night's sleep. And then, unless there's anything you guys want to do, uh, you'll wake up the next morning, bright and early. Uh, and as far as you're aware, there's a ship waiting for you with the docks. After the sleep, the temporary HP from yeah We're going, thing yeah. goes right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because um, all HP resets. <clears throat> True. Just making sure. Mm -hmm. So, what do you guys want to do? I'm gonna get I would like to. Oh, don't we? Because they're probably gonna not wait too long. Hmm? I would like yeah. to run to the bar before we go to the boat. Yes. Morning. We're going on a long voyage. Do you have anything that we can buy by the cask? Or the um, keg, even? Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, we've got some uh, some ale. Just cask of ale or wine. How many drinks are in these casks, roughly? Oh, let me think. Let me have a think. Uh, you Brooks on serving. <laughs> um, let's see. A litre will get you about three servings of ale. And it's five litres in. So five times fifteen servings of ale in one cask. How many litres are in this cask? Five. Oh, it's a mini cask. Okay. Yeah. Uh... 15 servings per cask, right? Mm hmm How much is that going to cost me? Uh, well, if we just give you... Oh, do you want fancy shit, or is is just anything will do? Mediocre shit. Not dirt cheap, but not... Not dirt cheap, mediocre. Mediocre? Mm. Two gold Hold for on. a cask. Oh. Two gold. How many do you have? Not too many, actually, because we do have, uh, you know, we're pretty busy throughout throughout every day, and uh, we're due a shipment, so I can probably, without getting in trouble, I can probably give you two casks. Fine, I'll have the fucking two casks. All right, so set so you back four gold. I spend four gold on. Is All there right. anything else? Do you have any bottles of wine? Like. Of course. Some okay, no, I'll be some nice wine, some good wine. Some good wine. And which color? Don't forget to specify. Yes, would you like red, white? Uh both. How Either. Many? <laughs> how many how much is it gonna cost me for a good bottle of, of red and a good bottle of white? When you say good, do you mean good? Or do you mean Good. Uh, let's go with snobby. Oh, I'll be like 50 gold a bottle if you want to get really snobby with it. Fucking. But. Less snobby than 50 gold a bottle. Less snobby than 50, but still better than good. Well, 
Seven gold a bottle? I'll get a bottle of red and a bottle of white. All right. Yeah, that'll do. This bartender's really distracted. No, I could just, just swipe have a something dog out of the and till. This dog is disabled to the point that he can't go outside, so there's like these like puppy pads on the floor. And he was walking around as if he was going to take a shit. So I, if, so I was like, you know what I mean? But it's, we're good, yeah. we're good, we're good. Wait, see if the I smell hits you, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're good. Um, all right. So, do you want anything else? Uh, uh, but, but, uh, breakfast. Let, let's grab a to-go breakfast for everyone. Why the fuck not? Really? Some They're eggs, not bacon, and a you know, slice of bread. Yeah. Can we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight of those. Of course. Well, uh... We'll get him on the house. Oh. Okay. Um... I'm so happy with this quiver, dude. <laughs> Is there anything else? Because you, know, you, you 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 went like eh, as if you were going to say something, and then you went quiet. I'm I'm thinking. Uh, He's racking all four brain cells in there. Don't worry. He's your four oh, now. What the fuck? <laughs> One of there. them finally you, split. What? I think. And then so when do you, you have actually... three? Any... Either any any sweet fruits or or juices would be okay, I guess. Uh, well, the juices don't really last very long, you know, make sure you finish That's those in, in a couple days, but, uh, as far as, like, like sweet fruits, um, you have we have, pineapple? Well, we have some dried fruits that will last you a little longer and still have that sweetness to them, uh, some apricots, I mean, I mean, peaches. Fresh, fresh would be better if you have anything oh, fresh. We do, but if, if you want something that lasts, then, you know, the dried no, is also no, an option. No, I, I want to make some stuff with it, so... Fair enough. Um, it's, we do have uh, some mangoes. We've got uh, Mango oranges. Do. Mangoes. All right. Mango and orange do. All right. Uh, we don't really sell these like this, so just, just, you can have them. It's fine. You've been you've been good customers throughout, throughout I, the last few days. It's fine. I need a fair few, so at least let me give you some money for. What's a fair few? Uh, now, now I have to work things out, not Brooks. Um. I want enough to be able to start brewing, like, I don't know, let's say 10 bottles of orange and mango alcohol of some kind, which means I'm going to need enough to fill 10 bottles, which what? Probably 10 gold, like, and I'll give you enough. Like 10 to 15 of each. Give me 10 gold, and you'll have okay. enough to make 10 of those bottles. That, is that DM like, fuck this shit? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I give him a platinum. Thank you. That's me. I'm done. Um, well, here's your what's breakfast. the date today, by the way, everyone? Is it the 30th uh, now? It's the 30th. 30th of Osim. How many You're... days are there in Osim? 31, uh, right? How many days are there in August? Yeah, 30, 31. I don't yeah, know 31. that. I don't yeah. know things. <laughs> 30 days it's in September, 31. April, June, and November. We're about to catch up. All the rest of 31 except February alone. <laughs> Um, no, you do the knuckles Craig. thing. Do the knuckles thing. That, that's that's what I do. That's yeah, I same. Yeah. Um, she puts yeah. like eight, eight little, uh, like little to-go boxes of just some, some like shitty fucking paper, like thick paper folded so that it doesn't fucking spill all your food on the bar. Uh, some some eggies, some some bacon, some toast. Nothing fancy, but it'll do. I'll wait for when Brooks is no longer in earshot of the bar. Okay. And I'll go up and, um, can I get two bottles of that expensive wine? Red wine. Oh, you. Yeah. 50 gold each one. prick. Yes. All right. Gold? 100 gold. Just put 100 gold down. Well, I take 25 gold out of one pocket. 25 gold oh, out of okay. one pocket. <laughs> Don't you have platinum one. for this shit? Yes. Oh. No. Elijah doesn't <laughs> believe in platinum, dude. <laughs> 
He goes he thinks to the it's going the way of the Electrum. A hundred percent. And Lazarin is the type of person who goes, Platinum is too much to have as one singular coin to lose. <laughs> Fuck that. One all in gold. You want to trade me? Fair enough. Fair Lazarin enough. invested in NFTs and lost. Uh, yeah, time. you get two bottles of. Uh, okay. There you go. We're, we're deep very, in the bag. Very no snobby fucking see. wine. Holy shit. Good. Do I recognize the name on them? They're like, oh, yes, I've had this one before to the party. It was a good vintage. Um... Good vintage. <laughs> great year. Great year. Um, great year. You do recognize. Oh, my uncle owns that one. <laughs> you recognize the label. It's definitely it's something from the yeah, yeah. from the kingdoms. Um, so it's definitely something that you've. A little harder to get here, which is probably also why it's you, this one wouldn't cost you fifty gold fifty gold a bottle back back in the kingdoms, but import fees and all that. Uh, but uh, it's, uh, this is the type of shit that like the royal families sip on. Should have fucking. Oh, should, we should go into the duty free mad. Should go into duty free <laughs> every time. Should have pre drinked mate. Yeah, fucking <clears throat> now. Alrighty, now that you guys have your breakfast, ordered your alcohol. And all that good stuff. Since no one wants me to fucking just have a little flame in my hand to make fucking Oni turn into a bird, I'll do it before we get on the ship. All right. Such a crybaby looking ass. So Onu will uh, transform from dog to bird. Ta da! <laughs> I just, I, I, I just like... point. There's a little, there's a little I, I point touch. to Onu and I point out to Kai's parrot. Time. I point between Onu and Kai's parrot, and I make the sign for friends to kiss. No. Onu will kind of. I don't think I've like, taught Brooks that one, so. Like, Onu will kind of just like, uh, like let me bird check. walk over to uh to the parrot and just kind of. You can sign good to parrot. me. Oh yeah, That's not quite. You can sign vampire, but you can't. I, sign parrot. I can't sign friends. Is not an animal. No. And neither is Onu. <laughs> right, Onu, technically. Onu is more animal than yeah, but like the parrot. Onu, Onu I mean, is definitely also o like Onu's a, an animal spirit. Onu is masquerading a, as different animals, whereas the Onu is a you know, is a spirit. wise soul inhabiting yeah. a real animal. You know, right, so right, like right. he's a little, he's a little like he's a little sus. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. The parrot. He gives it a little bow. You know. Yeah, and does they do that? Does a little does a little shubo stork fucking. You know, yeah, like a fucking yeah. Fucking <laughs> give it a little, a little, a little shake, a little bow. Very just to kick to movements, not the, not the music. <laughs> yeah, like those parents on TikTok. <laughs> Go fuck yeah. yourself. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Dude, Dude, my AC went to fourteen to sixty. Let's go. Oh, upgrade. Oh. Oh. My AC went from seventeen to seventeen. Nice. Yeah, by range attack, you're from sixteen to eighteen. They're good. Okay. Dude, I, I just realized I don't think I've used 20. these braces of archery since I got them. <laughs> oh wait, wait, no, I will have because it's automatically added. Thank oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be on, like <clears throat> the the brass knuckles doesn't do loads for me, just a little bit. A little something, the something. Fucking, yeah, the fucking luck still no. You've always got plus eleven athletics now. That's kind of that's kind of wild. <laughs> um. <laughs> all right. So do you guys head to the docks. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. All right. We've as you we're gonna eat our breakfast head to the as we docks. Go. Um, Wait, uh, Kai walks with a parrot on his shoulder, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. You got to falconry this thing, just like. I was like, I just imagine, oh, like, because Davy's only five four, five, five four, five six, five six. I think he said. Five, like, six. He's not five. Yeah, four. I think he's five six. I think he's five six. But just Onu would like have to put a foot on each shoulder, and <laughs> and then it would be so like it would be so like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Onu is <laughs> not shoulder sitting material. I don't think. Yeah, that's a shame. Um, that's a shame. Carry so you guys him like a baby. Wander towards the docks, and you already see the porcupine that you uh you know you recognize it from seeing it before, <laughs> loading up the last few boxes of cargo from that uh, warehouse down down the docks. Captain Vera just barking orders uh, on the deck um, and sees you approach and approaches you. Good morning. We arrived. Oh. We're almost ready to set sail. How are you all doing? Kai, it's good to see you again. The morning, Captain. Extra see the cargo breakfast that I bought to Vera. What are you doing? I'll hand the extra breakfast I bought to Vera. I've got eight. That, thank you. I suppose. Um, Didn't know if you'd have eaten yet or not, and we all took the time to, so. Um, I have heard. Sure. Uh, just kind of like, puts it, puts it like, 
like her her, her satchel for now. Pocket bacon. Do with that later. I, um, hmm? I'm looking at the ship. Yes. Is it like? blatantly pirate ship or no, are they this is definitely okay. like a trade vessel transformed into a pirate ship so it it, it has some they're not has... like they didn't just pull up flying the jolly roger or anything no no no, like, no, 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 no. Absolutely, absolutely not absolutely not the, no, the, the, the name the name looked like it's velcroed on so they can take it off when they're doing illegal shit like a fucking yeah. number plate all right well um welcome uh this is going to be your humble abode for the next two-ish weeks um see so you've met kai already he's uh he's actually my my helmsman uh, very very talented at making sure that we keep going in the right direction um which obviously kai if it's right with you that's where i'm going to be you know positioning you on this trip making sure that the ship is always uh going in the direction that uh that i wanted to go so don't mess up sounds good captain all right um You've already you've been on the ship before, the majority of you, so you kind of know the layout. But uh, I'll introduce you to the crew, we'll do, get all the niceties out of the way, and then we'll uh, we'll get going. Uh, I also I know we agreed on uh, ten gold a day and uh, a magic item at the end of it all, uh, which is still something we're going to do. We signed the contract. Just eyes at Elazarin. Signed a contract. But um. Is it all right if I, uh, instead of at the end of each day chucking you ten gold, how about we just save that, you know, to, to pay you all in one go at the end when we return to Aldilon? No. Was that just... so? If one of us dies, you don't have to pay out. Absolutely. I'm actually going to say, <laughs> when when do you decide the day? Sorry. When do you decide when you know the new day starts, new day ends? You know, do you do it to dawn? Do you do it to dawn? Dawn marks the start of a new day. Lazarin. Hello. Why? Because if we get in at a certain time, get in before dawn, right? Because we've been up all night. The estimate is that this will be a 12-day endeavor, therefore you'll be paid for 12 days minimum, unless it takes longer at the end of the we're, trip. We're including today, and yes. I assume we're including whatever day we return back on, regardless of what time we yes. return. Yes. Okay, at which point the days in between... Don't really matter. Doesn't fucking matter. Um, right. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is going to be... I have assigned you positions because um, due to the nature of our assignment at hand, I decided to leave some of my crew uh, in Aldilon for the time being because the less people that know about what we're doing, the better. I figured. Um, so there are some positions that need filling. Jax, of course, you're going to be my navigator. You know? For all time's sake. That's all right. Um, if possible, would I be okay to shadow him to some extent? I did assign you to the crow's nest because having that big bird looking around for us would be very useful, but I'm sure you won't be spending all your... Well, can you... You're a ranger, right? Some rangers can, like, talk to their birds. Is that something you can do? Or Oh, yeah, right. Is he, yeah. is he trained enough to be able to alert, you know, be loud when shit's happening, and then because if so, then yeah. um, I don't mind you held shadowing Jax as long as that bird of yours is keeping an eye on things. Oh no! How how loud can you be? Oh god! Here oh, comes he the lets out a stick, like, the <laughs> loudest fucking that weird that Shubil weird trembling, like, that weird fucking like tapping sound, and she's goes, yeah. yeah, that that will be loud enough. All right, yeah, sure, yeah. sure, that's Perfect. fine. Um, Brooks, would you would you fancy yourself a little handyman? Depends what you're asking. I was thinking of making you a carpenter, so whenever the hull gets damaged, you're going to be the one going down with hammer and nails to fix it. That's... What Brooks is thinking, I just signed both the Kess and Vera. I mean, Brooks is comfortable with any job that involves being handy and going down. <laughs> <laughs> she'll and like, only she'll, Kess she'll and like, Vera like, know what I said. She'll like smirk at, smirk at you. Um... Is that all right, Brooks? Yeah, sure. Beautiful. Um, Kess and Daigon. You're going to be um, learning how to work the cannons, if that's all right. Uh, le left a couple Let's of my go. gunners in Aldalon, and those are shoes that need f uh, filling. Uh, there's a couple of us still that also do, do the gunning thing, so they'll just show you around, um, teach you how, the, how they work and all that. That's going to be your roles. Um, 
obviously she, Kai sorry, is going to be on the helm. I light up when she's saying that. Kess is very excited. <laughs> Elazrin, you Hello. are going to be my first mate. Specifically, my first mate in charge of making sure that if people get hurt, they get patched the fuck up because we need them to get back to work as soon as possible. <laughs> that Medic, right? then. Medic, yes. But first mate sounds better. True. All right. Aye, aye, Captain. Beautiful. Uh, I believe that's everybody, right? That's everybody's role uh, decided. I believe. Point at Kai. And Kai's decide, gonna be the helmsman. He he's uh, he's he's ah. been my helm helmsman for a while, and he's gonna just continue on with that. So he's gonna be the one actually steering the ship. Um, I'll introduce you to some people that are important to to, to know. Um, first of all, this over here is uh, is my bosun or boatswain, if you want to be fancy with it uh and you see uh because a lot of the crew of the ship are red dragonborn as as you've pre previously noticed when the, the whole fight club thing was going on uh this particular red dragonborn is a man uh, doesn't have a tail and he introduces himself as drac uh so he's the bosun uh this is my officer uh another tailless male red dragonborn named tis um what was his position sorry he's an officer bosun. Oh, okay cool. So the first, the first Dragonborn was a bosun, this one is an officer. Yep. Uh, this over here is our cooper, which basically means that all the cargo and stuff needs to be cooped up and, and packed together so that it doesn't go fucking flying about in, in storms and whatnot. So he, uh, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's what he does. Um, his name's Fro. Um, and this, this particular red Dragonborn does have a tail uh, and is wearing an eye patch on, on his left eye. Uh, this here is... Iris, she is our sailmaker, so if sails get damaged uh, during a storm or whatever, or a fight, she'll be in charge of making sure that those sails get patched up right quick. Um, is she also a red dragonborn? Yeah, she's also a red dragonborn. Does she have a tail? She has a tail, and she also has a one of her legs, her left leg, is a wooden leg, peg leg. Oh, um, This over here, and you're basically kind of getting like a tour of the ship as well. She guides you to the kitchen. This over here is uh, Richard, we call him Raging Richard. He is a human man, long gray hair that's been thinning, yellow teeth, like the yellow eyes, very much old, gross, has been a pirate, and has had a lack of hygiene for a very long time. He just kind of gives you a crooked smile. Um, What's he do? He's Gook. Gook, okay. Yes. And last but not least, uh, this here is my quartermaster, my second in command. She's an odd one, but she is also very capable of uh, of her job. Um, and you are met by a, uh, a Triton, which usually you recognize Triton. You, you've had some endeavors with Triton before. Uh, and she introduces herself as Celeste. <laughs> this isn't here, bro. Really? Yeah, Come on. Oh, not here. So this man. is when, remember on Dungeon Discourse when oh, you guys yes. had to design NPCs. Yeah. yeah. This is yeah. the NPC that Duke and Bell designed on that the Discord oh, episode. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and Bell's a dumb idiot and missed the sesh. <clears throat> yeah, that's so it. lame. Yeah, well, that's what it is, man. <laughs> and she just kind of gives you a nod and like a little little, little curtsy. Um. So yeah, that's everyone. The rest of them are just you know, there's a, there's a lot, there's a, a handful more. Uh, people, but they're all in their positions, and I'm, I can't be fucking bothered. Um, obviously, uh, you'll stay. There's a, a room down here. There's a bunch of beds. Just pick whatever Wait, one you want to pick. Tall, dude. Sorry. Didn't didn't we make Celeste like six foot one? I'm just like I think she's six five. <laughs> Wait, what? The cabin's oh, right. like yeah. You, you mommy, made and <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> Sorry, Hello, mom. Yeah, on, dudes. <laughs> on me? Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, Celeste, bright white eyes, turquoise skin, very long kelp green hair, uh, and very tall. <laughs> Druid, right? Yeah. Druid. What did you say her position was again? Quartermaster, so the second in command, pretty much. I was gonna say I was gonna say doggy style, but it's just not classy, <laughs> is it really? I mean, <laughs> it, I... When you're that tall, like you don't really have a choice. So yeah, you get taken to this big, like just like sleeping hall. The there's there's ten beds, kind of just like splayed out, and there's also a bunch of like uh, what are they called? Like hang mats, kind of like tied up between beams and posts for people to also sleep on. Just pick whatever place you want to call home for the next couple of weeks, and uh, that, that that'll be yours. Um, it's not much, but it'll do, right? I'll find a hammock. 
hammock. That's what may do with worse. I mean, how comfortable could the crow's nest be? I feel like it might be quite nice to sleep up there. Although, I guess all the rocking's kind of worse yeah. when you're a bit high up. That's true. That's true. Well, I mean, I don't know, yeah, a baby, a rock a baby to sleep. I mean, give it a try, I suppose. Why not? Right, um, we should be ready to uh, get going. So uh, she just kind of like starts yelling for everybody to report to the up to the to like the main deck, and she'll um, kind of like drag you with her Kai and, and just kind of like position you by the by the wheel or on the helm, and she'll stand next to you and just. Uh, all right, everybody has their roles. It's time to set sail. I expect about a five-day journey to get to where we need to be. So, Jax, after we set off, I do need you in my cabin so that we can plot a bit of a route. Other than that, uh, Kai, on the helm, get us out of this board and head southwest. Everybody on your stations, get your asses going. This is going to be an interesting trip. Um, let's fucking do this. And I'm the entire, that rigging, bro. The entire, like... Crew will just, I captain, and they immediately just like dart into into their positions, in their stations, and they the ship just starts uh, leaving the docks. And when you hit proper water, the sails get angled in the right in the right position to catch as much wind, and sails get let down, and you're off. Off you go. Off you go. Right, Jax, uh, I need a I need a I need to work with you um, to, to to have a look see at uh, at our at our. Um, course because there's a lot of open water but it's also you know there's things on the way right sounds good so she opens the door to, to her cabin and, and lets you in and cl shuts the door and you can see on her desk there's a map of uh, the entire just like like the entire known world um, and there's a large red X in like an empty spot of ocean southwest of uh, Keldar nice that's where we're going. Um, a five-day journey, but um, there's, there's a couple of couple of things, couple of places that we might have to avoid. Um, so, uh, can you just look at this map and, and give us a route? Um, see if you can find. I know you're very good at finding alternative routes that shave off some time here or there. So, if, if you wouldn't mind. All right, I'll uh, pull out my little map case and start searching through. Let's so, hope. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take us the full time. <laughs> oh, oh, no. When it really matters is when he fucks up. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, she'll when Vera at... wants to be impressed. That's all right. It's a bit of a tricky one because, and she'll start pointing at different spots like on the way there, and it's like that's a known hunting ground for particular beasties that we do not want our ship to run into. So we're gonna have to go around that. Uh, that place is known to have some some weird like like raised sand dunes that we're gonna have to avoid. So yeah, I, I suppose it's gonna take the full five days that I had in mind. Uh, I, I figured I'd give you a chance to look at it, and, and maybe you'll be able to cut some time off. But don't worry about it. Um, so, Jax, we are headed to a small cluster of uncharted islands to southwest of here. Um, you remember I spoke to you about uh, this this undead follower of Umberly that that holds the trident, right? That guards it, uh, Evandur High Castle. Um, the islands have never been charted, but we I do believe that that is where he guards it. Um, so the lay of the land, as soon as we hit that land, it's uncharted terrain for everybody here. Um, but hopefully, maybe your friend with that bird might come in handy to scout ahead. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll tackle that bridge when we get to it. Uh, he seems pretty versed in overland travel. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, other than that, that's really it. So for now, just make sure that Kai, uh, you know, you know, you know the routes, you know, you know where we're going. So make sure that Kai is constantly, uh, you know, going in the right direction. So if you wouldn't mind spending some time by the helm with him, uh, making sure that he, we keep on track for the rest of the day, that'd be appreciated. It sounds good. Um, All right. Um, good question for you. Hmm? Uh, did you unload the cargo? Yes. Okay. That is not on the ship with us, don't worry. I was going to say it could be bad if it hatched. Oh, one more thing. Um, you and I are still kind of wanted by the high sea protectors. Oh, yes, I've seen my so, poster. You know, 
uh, about at the end of this day, I expect to hit... Um, what the High Sea Protectors have done is, because of the influx of travelers to and from this new continent, they've set up a bit of a perimeter with, with, with some of their larger galleons. Uh, and they could, you know, we, we'll run into them, and they might board us to make sure that we're all okay, and then they fuck off again. So, towards the evening, just maybe don't look like you, just in case. Just so before today, and then... today. Hmm? I don't know if I prefer that spell today. Mm-hmm. Well, or <laughs> alternatively, um, maybe you know, if you want to look like yourself, that's fine. But just maybe make it so that none of us can see you, perhaps. That might be more manageable. Fair enough. Uh, just all I'm trying to say is make sure that the high seed protectors don't realize that you're on the ship. Is all. It sounds good. It'll just it'll, it'll just for today. So so as soon as we just for the evening, as soon as we bring the clear, we'll, we'll be fine the rest of the trip. Because then we'll, then we hit the open sea properly, and you and I both know there's no patrolling there. True. I mean, there's no point to follow us. Exactly. Right. Just wanted you to, to be aware of that because that is a you know it's a bit of an issue. <laughs> All right, uh, feel free to yeah, fuck off. I'm going to plan some things out, do a little bit of reading. Uh, if anyone needs me, knock on my door. Sounds good. Oh, and uh, send uh, Celestian if you see her, please. Okay. I'll uh, go find Celesti, send her in, and then yeah. go start doing my navigating duties. All righty. Uh, are, we, are we sailing? Like, where yeah. are we going? Where you're going, yeah. Going. I like the idea here. that everyone sort of goes to their sort of positions of where they should be. And as when sheriff's like, well, I was just told to be a fucking medic, so I'm gonna just. Yeah, I'm just here. <laughs> just in his, in having like you, mm-hmm. like, you guys check out your guns. You guys check out like the post. I'm just like, I'm just gonna stay in my hammock yeah. and be like. So, uh, Dagon and Kess, you guys, this dog needs to chill the fuck out. <laughs> Uh, Dagon, case you get like the rundown on like, oh, this is how you control a ballista. This is how you control a mangonel. Uh, this is how the cannons work. Just that will be like the majority of your day is being taught how the fuck to use those things. Uh, there is. I'm three... kicking in the crow's nest, bro. Yeah. I'm a multi-class and a gunslinger. <laughs> There's <laughs> and a gunslinger. There is um, three ballistas and two mangonels on the top deck. Uh, a ballista and a mangonel on either side, and then one more ballista at like the the, the front bit of the ship to, to shoot directly forward. And then the deck below, there's three cannons on each side of uh, that have like their, their own little, you know, like port portholes that they can peek out of and, and taken out from. Uh, and yeah, just basically your entire first day is being taught how the fuck uh, to, to 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 use these weapons. Um, really, it's oh. probably going to be the rest of your day spent, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Mister DM, sir. Hello. Since I already kind of know my navigating job mm-hmm. and whatnot. Would I potentially have downtime in between to start crafting uh, items? Uh, yeah, as long as you just make sure to update Kai on the regular yeah. in case you need to like change the direction or something. Yeah, you'll, you'll have okay. some downtime, like spots of like an hour at a time to, to do some other shit. Yeah. Cool, cool. Sounds good. Just gotta start keeping track. Um, of okay. You're in the crow's nest, uh, Davian? Yeah. Well, let's make a little perception check. So it's just a small one. Just a small I, one. I think dirty twenty. Wait, no, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Uh, you look around, and it's a very uh, clear sky ahead of you. Uh, no, like storms building up anywhere, as far as you can see. So it's, this first day should be pretty smooth sailing. Uh, no other ships really you, you the first couple hours you pass a few ships that seem to be headed towards Strathmore but after a few hours of sailing in the direction that you're sailing into uh you stop seeing ships really um just send Nonu into <clears throat> the air fucking stand tall and pull down my hood and let all this fucking like tussled red hair like blow around in the wind <laughs> And be very dramatic about the whole thing. <laughs> Hell yeah, um, Kai. Obviously, you uh, you spent your first day 
uh, just ma manning the helm. Uh, Jax will give you regular updates on, you know, whenever there's an, a direction shift necessary or a certain bit that you have to, like, kind of avoid and that sort of thing. So you guys kind of collaborate on that. Uh, Brooks, you you get shown where all the tools and supplies are. Uh, and basically, um, one of the crewmates is like, oh, basically, if we get into a gunfight or, uh, you know, cannon fight... Uh, as soon as we start to get some holes, that's when you need to start hauling your ass down here to patch them up before it's too late. Because if we take on too much water, we sink. Believe it or not, I actually sort of know what I'm doing. Beautiful. Um, other than that, um, there's not really much to it. So you can just kind of do whatever, really, unless Captain Vera has other plans for you. But I don't think so at this time. I have two things I'd like to do. All right. Number one. I would like to go around the ship in general and just assess if there's anything that I do need to do as a captain. Like, are there any fucking dodgy stairs anywhere or any shit that's like 10 minutes away from falling apart? Fuck it. Make a perception check as you're kind of just meandering around the the. I'm the not decks. good at these. Well, if you want to, if that. investigation would be better for you, you can do investigation if you want. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Because I know one is wisdom, one is intelligence, right? Perception or investigation? Mm -hmm. It's a plus one or a plus two, so... Yeah. I'll take the plus two for perception, but it's not It's mm -hmm. not going to go well. <laughs> it's a nat one. This ship is in tip-top condition, as far as you can see. There's nothing needs fixing. This is the easiest job you've Perfect. ever had. Perfect. And cool. as you say that, um, you fucking walk up a set of stairs, and you just... <laughs> you, your foot just sinks through one of the steps, and you're like, oh... Never mind. Orc! <laughs> right, okay. I would spend the first... You know what? No, fuck it. Is it a, is it a like a main stairway? Yeah, I it's like the stairway feet. that connects one of the, the one of the one of the decks together. Or two of the decks together, sorry. I'll fucking bodge it for now and come back and fix it later. I've got other shit to do. <laughs> right. Such a like, I'll just love... put a plank of wood over it and then I'll be like, I'll come and replace this later. I love how much of a cowboy builder. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Literally, I'm just gonna put a plank of wood over the top and I'm like, I'll replace this later. I've got other shit to do. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna go it's find somewhere cool. relatively clear so I can get my kit out and start writing. Okay. Because I've I've told Jackson multiple times that I'm gonna do this and then never actually got around to doing it. Okay. I am going to sit and begin to forge an official looking document. Okay. Of the high seas protectors, all right. That states that uh, Jax is currently immune from uh, arrest or prosecution while he handles official business on behalf of Captain Blackpool, with Captain Blackpool's signature at the bottom. Nice. Yeah, because you've seen that signature. Right? I have seen that and memorized that. Ooh. Okay. Um. You have like a forger's kit, right? I have a forgery kit. I have yeah. proficiency in it. Oh, man. and I have his signature. Smooth... Are we on Breaking smooth seas or choppy seas? Because you're trying to do this in the boats, like that's pretty smooth sailing. There's not. <laughs> what yeah. I can see, smooth sailing. Um, yeah, just make me roll d twenty, add your proficiency bonus, uh, and I'll give you advantage because you've 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 looked at Black Paul's signature before. Oh, that is a. 22 without advantage it would have been a six yeah that looks pretty darn official i will uh, put some setting powder on that so that the ink's dry and i will take and deliver it to jacks somewhat subtly i don't want everyone in their mom <clears> to see it because i don't know who's in on the he's wanted so we we've spoke about this on occasion and then proceeded to get drunk and I've never got around to it but now that we're on the sea it feels fairly important and I'm not going to tell you that I forged it I'm just going to pass it to you okay and I'll let All you right. read it yeah and you, um, you if you open it up you see a letter signed by Captain Blackball that basically makes you you know abolishes you of any prosecution while you're handling official business for the high sea protectors Basically, kind of, uh, kind of, in the same, in the same, in the same way where 
back in the day, trade companies would, instead of like prosecute pirates, they would make them privateers and just do the pirating mm. for them. It's kind of one of those letters that basically makes you a privateer for the high sea protectors instead of a wanted pirate. Gotcha, okay. Oh, this is amazing. I uh, figured what that business it was... am I doing for them, though? I have no idea. That's up to you. You have to do the talking. This is just a... Oh shit, we're in trouble, they've turned <laughs> up, and I don't have any way of avoiding being seen. Like, I wouldn't necessarily rely on this as your first port of call, but... It should... Unless they have magical means of contacting Blackpool while we're out on the sea, it should be good enough. Sounds good. Uh, my parents did always say I was talked too much. <laughs> but... Uh, Thank you. You're very welcome. I, I, you know, you're the, the one person on the ship that's wanted. So, uh, well, that's that we know of. Not quite <laughs> true. <laughs> Wait, you're not wanted anymore. Well, no, I, I very much am. Um, but Vera's well, also wanted. Didn't Diagon escape? Hanging? Right. Okay, I'll be back in Does about technically make Diagon wanted another well, forty-five well. minutes. <laughs> And I will fuck off back to wherever I was working and I'd yet to pack my shit up and I will do the fucking same for fucking Vera. <laughs> make, a, make another uh, check. With the advantage. This one even better. Yeah. And it, I didn't escape hanging. A natural was, 20, was... baby. Jesus Christ. You were hanged a but didn't die. A natural 20. No, I was cut off the rope because as I was being hanged, they realized they had got the wrong person. So, um, right. This uh, document looks even better than the one you made for Jax. I will go and find the captain. Uh, you, know, Capita, Capita. you don't see it anywhere, but uh, there is the captain's cabin that you reckon she could probably be. I'll go and at. politely knock on the cabin. Come in. I'll open the door. You it's see Captain Vera and Celeste are uh, at her table, just discussing something, looking at some paperwork. What's going on, Brooks? I'm going to preface this by saying this might be a private conversation. It might not. I don't know how. Uh open you are with everyone about well this is my second in command anything I know she knows so. okay well that's fine then I'm just gonna shut the door mm -hmm. I assume you're aware of Jax's problem with naval based law enforcement uh, same problem I have yeah, he uh, he just told me that today, so... That's fine. Uh, I told him earlier that we're going pro to probably be checked by the high sea protectors tonight, so I told I him to... I over the piece of paper. So I, I, was, I was just going to make myself look like... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you have a different plan, this is great just to keep stashed as a... Yeah, I have this great... Alter button. Whenever I run into these checkpoints, I just turn myself into a human woman and call myself Alice and call it a day, really. Well, there we go, then. But, uh... But if you want to keep I am this going stash to somewhere, keep this, just in case. I think I I've got a natural talent for it. I've been very no, good at it good. for a while. Hm. That might come in handy in more occasions than just this one. Um. Yeah. Might may or may not Imagine have that. memorized Blackpaw's signature. So. Anyone else's signature? You know. Uh, people in functions like that? None that I could think of that would be massively of value to you. Mm. I know how to forge uh, an Empire Trade Alliance batch. That's useful in certain situations. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, everyone else's we'll, signature we'll get, that I, we'll, I know we'll, is either we'll on the other continent time. or I, dead. I have ideas. We, we'll talk about this. Just uh, time. find me a letter from someone important and we're good to go. <laughs> anyway, I will right. leave you two lovely individuals to whatever you were discussing. I'm going to go fix some stairs. All right. Thank you very much. Have, um, yeah. Good luck with those stairs. Really, uh, really tricky one. That one, you're talking about the one connecting the like bottom deck and the middle deck together. Then, yeah, that one's been... <laughs> On the way out for a little while. Yeah, I may have put my foot in it, figuratively and literally, so. Yeah. I will go and replace the stairs. All right. Mr. DM. Very easily. Don't need to make a check or anything. It's very, very easy to just, you know, you just rip out the entire, like, 
the entire uh, step and just replace a plank with a, with a plank and make sure that's sturdy enough to carry carry your weight. And all the other steps are good, right? Like yeah. Okay, that's fine then. Um, uh, and then any other time in the day, if I'm not fixing shit, I will fucking begin to study my uh, sign language book. Okay. Um, is there anything anyone wants to do throughout their first day of travel? If I I think I have a thing I want to do, but I would probably wait till the second day because the first day I'd just be wanting to uh, l obviously learn whatever we need to learn for canon canon responsibilities, but then also just doing like lots of observation of the crew interactions and trying to get a read on people's dynamics and who's friends with who and like power structure and stuff. So day mm -hmm. one is mostly observation, but I want to talk to Vera on day two. Okay, so that's fine. Um, anyone else have anything? Uh, uh, other than it. running up to the crow's nest, quick look around, get on <laughs> doing his thing. Only will just kind of alternate between sort of flying a kind of sort of sixty foot radius around above the ship, mm -hmm. uh, and then just perching on the crow's nest, um, and you know keeping an eye out. And I'll probably do a little bit the same as Diagon, uh, and also split that up with just sort of hanging around Jacks and like trying to pick up, you know. Okay these maps and charts and, and reading all of that sort of stuff and plotting courses and all that. Cool, cool, cool. That's running straight up treating this like a fucking cruise. <laughs> He's <laughs> in his hammock. I have I've done that look around to see there's no one around. Uncorked my bottle of my expensive bottles of wine and just kind of have it uncorked to breathe for a little bit. And I would have poured myself just a, just a small little glass and put it back in the... I go find a Lazarin mm -hmm. to heal where I whacked myself with a hammer. <laughs> just I like, look you and go, it will heal naturally, you'll be fine. Well, you're fucking useful, you, aren't you? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll put out... I think I've got, like, fucking... <laughs> Wait, um... Some with... wine. I have an old bottle from a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> Which is true. <laughs> Do you still have an old bottle from a while ago? <laughs> um, I'll, I'll I'll pull out in like my fucking priest fucking pack of shit. There's like some basic sort of cloth. I'll pull out that and be like, just wrap around that and you'll be fine. Right. Um, yeah, I was thinking you're gonna look after us all. Yes, for life threatening injuries, not oh I stubbed my toe or hit my hand with the hammer. Wouldn't At some point, Vera will emerge from her uh, cabin and walk up to you, Kai, and uh, just kind of like time it so that Jax is also there. Jax, could you take over the helm for a little bit while I have a quick conversation, but catch up with Kai in my in my cabin? It's all right. Of course. Thank you. Follow me, Kai. Captain. Yeah, follow. And uh, she'll sit down in her like she she's she has one of those like very luxurious like armchairs at, at the oh. table and she sits down in it. Uh, help yourself to a drink if you want. I uh, just wanted to, you know, it's been a, it's been a little while because we sent you ahead to uh, to Strathmore. Wanted to quick catch up. Uh, seems that all the cargo and all that was uh, it was in order, so that's good. Um, it's between you and me, right? So these these people that we have on our ship right now. Do you think, you know? Any one of them going to try any funny business, or do you think it's going to, you know, I know a few of them enough to trust them, but not everyone, and, yeah. Anyone who's going to try and, I don't know, set the ship on fire while we all sleep or something? I haven't spent too much time with them to point them out like that, but it seems to me the couple pranks us in there, but not, let's, oh, let's put the ship on fire kind of pranks, so... Very good, very good. Um, I got told that uh, there was a break-in at the warehouse where we also stored our stuff. Um, did you like, did you see anything? Was it you? Did you see? Did you see those gemstones? Because if so, you better be sharing. Um, it's not me. I checked. I checked the cargo. Our cargo. Damn it! And I left. Shame. Um, all right. Um, as far as um, I, I, I'm sure Jax has already kind of told you about the route. Um, when we get to, 
you know, in five days from now when we get to where we need to be, um, it's going to be very important that you do not, whatever happens, lose control of the helm. Whatever storms or, or, or water conditions get magically summoned to try and stop us, you are the one person that is going to keep the ship under our control. Because if you fuck up, we all die. No pressure. Oh. And I've done that for many years, ever since I've been here. So... I know, I just... We know. wanted to explain, should you know, be good. make sure that it's clear how this is, you know, our normal trips, you know, we, we know what we're in for, and now we're not, so... Just want to make sure that you're aware, you, you you understand the seriousness of of, of, of this all. Oh, I understand. I will keep. Uh, I will make sure I stay at my post. Good man. Um. Choo -choo -choo. Yeah, that'll be it for now. Um. Let's get back to the helm. Make sure that uh, we're uh, keep heading southeast for now. I believe, but uh, obviously, Jax is there. And whenever you, whenever he decides that it's time to change course, just listen to him. Captain's orders. All right. I'll do it, Captain. Very good. And she'll just kind of like nod at the door and motion for you to to leave while she stays behind in her cabin. No, just uh, wall of away. Going uh, back to my place. Hell yeah. Um, so your first day. Um, for those of you that aren't very used to the, you know, don't have quite have your sea legs yet. It's a bit of a struggle sometimes. So like, oof. But, but none of you get really, like, none of you get, like, seasick or anything. It's, uh, the, the, most of, the majority of you have traveled to Keldar from wherever you came from on ship. So, you know, it's not, like, it's not your first rodeo uh, on, like, the vast open ocean. Um, the sun is about to set. Uh, evening's about to start. Uh, Davian, if you're shadowing Jax, you just, all of you just start hearing, oh, no, fucking... Just like alerting. Oh, here we go. oh shit! Um, uh, mm, I cast invisibility. Okay. I guess I'm gonna run up as fast as I can to the crow's nest to see what, see what the deal is. Uh, make a perception check. Roll advantage because Onu kind of like motions for you to look in a certain direction. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. You see three ships on the horizon. One galleon, about twice the size of the ship that you're on. And two ships equally, equally sized as the one that you're on, all flying the High Sea Protectors mark. I would just scream from the fucking crow's nest. High Seas Protectors, hoy! <laughs> Vera will just kind of like emerge from. Uh, uh, or, okay, well. A human woman. Yeah. With like yeah, long black woman. hair uh, emerges from the, from the cabin. Sounds a lot like Vera, though. <laughs> All right, manusations. Act cool. We're just transporting cargo. There's nothing to be worried about. First person that cracks under the pressure, I'll keelhaul myself. Act natural. And as you kind of get closer, um, this loud, booming voice will 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 come from the large galleon ahead of you. For those of you that are. A little versed in, in magic, There's some kind of thaumaturgy spell going on to make it. Um, and he will say the following: "This is the captain of the Lewin speaking. Prepare to get boarded by the High Sea Protectors for a cargo check." And uh, upon that, Captain Fear, I will just start starts yelling. Lower the sa uh, raise the sails, lower the anchor, just let them board, fucking just let them do that check and they'll fuck off in a few minutes. Just act cool. Can we do this, can we do this after the break? Uh, yeah, and while they board, we'll, we'll go for a break. Yeah, while, while they, they board, uh, climb on, climb on board break, of, your, uh, of your ship. I'm going to be disguised, uh, smile. I didn't realize it was already to our mark, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah, we'll take a yeah, break here and then uh, we'll come back to this when we get back. So, uh, see you in a bit, gang gang. <laughs> Gavin is it's pretty cool easy and basic. And I got eight images. What? Hello. And these are what it came up with. Dude, Those are dude, not bad what? for Davian, dude. They look like fucking talisman art. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what? Well, so the second do one looks too, like our like Yes. I'm the trying to figure out what he's. The furthest right one has like the best art, but what the fuck is? Why is he? 
What's he got there? Like, he's just that little bag of tricks. Those next four, look how, the look how four little is what I put in, and I had to change Fly, up what I put in to get Fire Robin Hood. Soko is so running like yeah. random, like, fucking keywords. He's through. putting our character descriptions through. I'm, I'm, trying, trying, yeah. Yeah. I'm having to code in with out. Python on, like, I'm having to add an extra Python, like, coding to try and get it to, like, add DD things in to, like, make them better. But mm. it's, right, right, right. Yeah, that's bad. You it's mentioned looking like idea. Talisman, and I thought there was a reason I had like a, just a hatred for it instantly. I fucking just, hate Talisman um, so much, dude. I it's love Talisman, I just totally Talisman's, playing it. Talisman's a game where I go, I want to play this, and then 10 minutes later, I yeah, wish I'd never like half an hour, and then you're like, I'm over it now. It's like starting a and super game with friends. And you're there for the next like three hours. If the game only lasted an hour, it wouldn't be so bad. It literally be yeah, no, fine. Talisman yeah, is one of the game. Mm-hmm. One of the game. It's like it's like committing a monopoly or risk, you know, you know, or civilization. You know, yeah, you're gonna but interesting. Hours. Because monopoly and risk anyway, both suck. True. D and D. In Talisman, you can kill monsters and get bags of gold for twelve hours without achieving anything. D and D, literally. <laughs> it's like D and D. It's like D and D. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, on that note, you're about, or you're in the process of being boarded by uh, some officials. Or we huh? Get boarded. Yeah. I would like to cast Water Walk on everyone. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, do, you have like to be, to... do you have to be able to see people to do that though? Yeah. That uh, Jack's yeah, invisible. I'll cast I would like to disguise to... myself. Jack. Well, Jacks can drown. <laughs> True. <laughs> Literally. Um, so approaching or climbing onto the ship is uh, somebody wearing a similar outfit, like that decorates kind of. This a, a similar rank to the outfit that Captain Blackpaw wore, so like the the very fancy like long coats and 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 fancy hat. Evening, ladies and gents. Uh, my name is uh, Captain Arvin of uh, the Lewin uh, flagship, uh, or one of the flagships of the IC Protectors. Uh, we're just here to perform a uh, checkup uh, due to the. Influx, uh, the increase of, of travelers to and from the new land. Uh, we've set up a bit of a perimeter and make sure that everything uh, is in order. So, who's the captain here? And this this woman with, with long black hair, this human woman, will, will shop. That'd be me. It's uh, Captain Alice uh, at your service. Um, and she'll already have like a stack of paperwork that she hands the man and he just looks through it. All right, all right, all right. Um, while I go through this, would you mind? The, a couple of my men go below deck to just check your cargo and make sure that everything that's in there is also what it says on this paper, and she doesn't uh, see a problem with. Um, so, of course, um, how about... Uh, and she'll call out two random uh, Red Dragonborn crewmates, the ones that you didn't get introduced to, just just people that are, you know, just, just a, the normal sailors that don't really have a specific role. They just kind of do whatever, whatever they need to do whenever the need comes up. Uh, Basic bitch crewman. Deckhands. Yeah, deckhands. Replaceable. Yeah. Escort these men down to a cargo hold and have them, you know, look at their leisure while I uh, arrange things with uh, Captain Arvin, was it, over here? And the captain just nods. All right, the porcupine. Um, delivering cargo from Strathmore to Thermogar in the Empire. It seems to all be in order, all right. Um, signature's all there. All right, cargo-wise, uh, repair supplies, tools. All right, well, if as long as my men come back up in a few minutes uh, and they, they say that, you know, the things they mentioned that they saw are also mentioned on this piece of paper, we'll have no problem at all. Um, a few minutes. Uh, how long um, do, you all, do you all reckon you're going to be... In Thermogar 4, do you have an estimate? Are you going to be coming back to the, to the, to the... At this point, this just kind of evolves into, like, small talk to fill the time, to kill time while, uh, the men that he sent down below deck, uh, emerge. Uh, which, ten minutes later, they do, and basically confirm that the things that they saw down below deck in the cargo seem, seem up to snuff, and he just goes... All right, Captain Ellis, thank you very much. Here's your paperwork back. Uh, appreciate the uh, cooperation. Uh, we'll uh, leave you to it now, and uh, as soon as we all leave your ship, feel free to continue your travels and uh, stay safe. Mm. Captain Vera, or Captain Ellis, just nods and takes the paperwork back. And as soon as uh, Captain Arvin and his men um, leave the ship and get back onto their own galleon, 
Captain Alice will just yell, Right, raise anchor, lower the seals, continuing our course. And every one of the crew just, Oi, Captain! And immediately just race back to their positions. A um, couple hours go by, and um, Captain Vera will, will walk up to Yukai and... You've been manning the helm, looking like herself again, by the way. Um, you've been handling the helm for the entire day. How about you uh, get some rest, get some food downstairs, and uh, chillax for for the night? I'll, I'll take over the helm for a bit. You Sounds are hereby good, relieved of your duty until the morning. Okay. And uh, that, that you know, your your new friends tell them that they're relieved of their duty for the night as well. Okay. Well, uh, make my way. For everybody, but like, okay, guys, done for today. Not sure who's closest by, but just go. Uh, Jax will, probably, Jax will probably not be too far away from you because he ma he regularly comes up to make sure that we're still on course and all that. And there's a good chance you'll spot Davy in there as well because he's kind of shadowing Jax, learning how the whole navigator shtick uh, works. So those will probably be the two, the first two people you bump into. Right, boys, we're done for today. Time to have a have a little, have a little break. All right, sounds right. good. I will uh, rustle in my backpack for the alchemist's jug. <laughs> <laughs> Uncork one of the stoppers. Um, Wait, do I have to, the, is it a command word? Hold on. Well, the way it works is if you want ale or what, or if you want beer, you say beer. If you want mayonnaise, beer. you say mayonnaise. And then, and then, and then you put yeah. okay, and, then that, that, and that's what comes out. I just, got, <laughs> just pull out this fucking jug. Beer. <laughs> Just on the floor, like that is beer. <laughs> it's not terrible. <laughs> oh, <beep>. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Beep. How many gallons of beer do I get? Four gallons Four of beer. Gallons of Let's beer. fucking go, dude. <laughs> Four Let's fucking go. <laughs> Four gallons of beer. Um. So at that point, you know, everybody, you'll get told that it's um that it's you're done for the day. You're relieved off your duties. Uh, and at that point, <clears throat> uh, you'll hear the dinner bell being rang from down below, which indicates that uh, supper is ready, if you guys want to uh, grab a plate. Heck yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, the cook, as you got to introduce to uh, Richard, the, the old human man with like the gray thinning hair, the yellow teeth, yellow eyes. Yeah. Hey, today we've got some chowder for you all with some various seafoods and a nice chunk of bread. Best enjoy the grub for now, because it's only going to get worse as long as stays, we stay offshore. Right now it's fresh, freshly loaded in this morning. This chowder is not going to be that good anymore a week from now, so best enjoy it, alright? I don't think I want to be eating any seafood chowder a week after fucking cooked it. Exactly, right now we've got chowder. I think tomorrow we, 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 we'll have some, some... No, some, some fresh meats and all that, but... Days Four or now. five days from now, it's going to be oh. a lot more along the lines of cured bee meat and that sort of thing. So, you know, right now, I, I, can, the... I can cook some fresher stuff. It um. becomes what the cook served in Atlantis. Just this undescribable grief that you just <laughs> yeah. get. 10 o'clock, a fish Reheated and a rice cake. 12 o'clock, fish and a rice fish. cake. Fish. <laughs> 1 o'clock, I'll, I'll have a rice cake. So the chowder you get is a nice thick white soup with chunks of shellfish and some other just like white fish as well. And the bread you get is just a nice thick piece of sourdough bread to kind of... Is it any good? Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, he made it look very gross, but the food definitely doesn't match his look. It's uh, He's a good he's a good cook <laughs> as far as you can... Yeah, it's pretty good. Good to know. Uh, as you're all kind of... you're, I'm assuming you're all just kind of sitting down at a table, right? And just kind of having your yeah. food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you get approached by uh, Celesti, the... the, 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 the Quartermaster, uh, Triton. Mind if I join you lot? If you Not want. at all. And she uh, sits down. She's a tall. Yeah, she's a tall lady. She. Uh, how tall are you again, Jax? Uh, like six eight. Yeah. So. I don't know, I have to as far as like, like she's six foot five. She's like between Brooks and Jax. Yeah. So like, she's yeah. six foot five. So she's definitely like on the taller how scale. How tall is of... Brooks? Like six, six two, six three. Yeah, you're you're the same height as Dagon. And uh, she sits down. Um, Very different builds, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she sits down, and uh, all right, it's, uh, it's a pleasure meeting uh, you all. Um, 
I haven't had the pleasure yet properly since uh, I I heard you partook in the um the old the old punch up when we were docked in Aldalon, right? We definitely took part. That we mm. definitely did. Oh god, I, I just sort of hold the hold the cheekbone thinking back to the fucking whooping <laughs> the Titan gave me. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, I um wasn't able to uh attend because um while while in Eldilon I had to I had a personal errand to run, but um word spreads fast among the crew. You're becoming a bit of a household name in Eldilon, aren't you? Although well there's not really a set name for you, is there? During it's just I've heard you guys Those be addressed guys as seven sort of things. things. Oh, oh, when she says that, I take out my journal and just turn it to the page of the various list of potential group names and slide it over to her. Is the diplomats on that list? Um. Better be. Fucking better be. I was rooting for the diplomats this whole time. I think I think I might have not updated it because that was a, a later ad. I'll add it right now. It should be, but the okay. World Anvil. It's hey, not, where I'll the RTFW? Right um, I don't know. Well, there's, there's, there's three things that I've heard you guys be addressed as. Diplomats, ragtag fuckwits, and that group of mercenaries who does things with a general. That's, that's typically the three. That's the third pretty one. accurate. Yeah, that diplomats and ragtag fuckwits are in the journal <laughs> as possible options. And uh, Jax, Captain Vera spoke very highly of you, said you were the greatest navigator you ever had. So it's a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance properly. I don't know about that, but I do. I, I, I do thank you kindly for thinking so. Yeah, no worries. Um, I figured. Uh, oh, by the way, Richard, great cook, but if he ever offers you his special stew, don't. Opt for just a slice of bread with some. I don't know. Why some some cured meat. You say a juicy slice of bread? Just for some slice of bread with some cured meat. Oh, I heard juicy. I was like, if the fucking no. bread's juicy, it's see. I don't know what the fuck um, I'm gonna eat. Let's just say that that stew is just not his best work. Is he is he convinced that it's amazing and everyone else hates it? Absolutely. Oh god, it's not very good. He's, I'm sure he's doing his best with what he's got. Let's be honest. Absolutely, I mean, but I mean, it's like this chowder, phenomenal, right? He's a good cook. There's just this, this one dish that he just doesn't really seem to understand that. Not everything that his palate finds acceptable and doesn't necessarily agree with everyone else's palate, you know? Well, I mean, <clears throat> what are you going to spice a special stew with when you're out at sea? Floorboard shavings? Um, sure, yeah, let's go with floorboard shavings. Uh -huh. There are plenty of those after today. What does that mean? I was yeah. replacing a floorboard on the stairs. Right, right, right. Um, fair enough. Yeah, just, just don't go for What else would it mean? I don't know. It's, well, no one me. else was there, man. Right? We're, we're like, what? Just, you're making you're referential humor like we were all watching you change the fucking floorboard. Um, Have you been on the stairs today? Yes, to get down here. Have you noticed that there's now not... There, there's it's... one stair that doesn't match now? Not really. <clears throat> Underappreciated. What can I say? It's a plank. And you've only been here a day. Is he always like this? Ah. Uh... And she'll like jo mocking, like kind of like half mockingly, half you know jokingly, just kind of like stand up and and sta and, and like shits beside you, Brooks, and just put pats you on the shoulder. You've done very well today, Brooks. Proud of you. Thank you so much for your service. I feel like this is worse. This <laughs> is definitely worse. Um, did want to have a little word with you about something else. Uh, figured, you know, some, some proper introductions would be nice since uh, when we get to where we need to be, um, the entire crew is going to remain on the ship except for me and the captain. We're going to be accompanying you on land, searching for this uh, item and getting in a lot of trouble. So I figured, you know, I just point to to Kai and raise an eyebrow. Yes, of course he's also coming. So, I, 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 you know, I, people that weren't that, that aren't sitting at this table. So you know, they, me and the captain will be accompanying you lots, and the rest of the crew will remain on the ship, making sure that uh, everything goes smoothly here. Um, yeah, just Congrats, figured. Congrats, Kai. 
You have officially graduated into being lumped in as part of you a lot. So, that is true. If you don't mind me asking, hmm? you don't seem to fit the bill of the crew of the porcupine to some degree. I mean... Meaning I'm not a red... You're not a red dragonborn, right? right. Neither is Richard. Richard's... Oh, well, uh, that's true. That's Richard true. is a funny story. We, um... Well, I've been told this because I've not been a part of this crew for too, too long. Only a couple of years compared to Richard, who's been here. Uh, well, ever since, uh... Vera's previous ship sank. Pretty much. Um... Wait, as she says that, hmm? I want to look at Jax and see if there's any reaction. Because... I don't know. This seems like the kind of thing he might know about and might have some sort of memory of. But what kind of reaction are you looking for? As in, like, was I part any of reaction? It, or she, like... just, she just said, "Oh, well, since Vera's last ship sank." And I guess I'm just looking at you, like, thinking, "Was he on that ship?" Like, yeah, that's really all that's going through my mind. Probably just like a like little nod, like, "Oh yeah," but oh, yeah, that for good times, yeah. <laughs> the good old days. Well, is it a? <laughs> is it just no? Yeah, well, whatever. I'm not. I'm Richard, not sure because um, I did. Just wanted to see if you like wince or like, or like, oh, you know, some <laughs> shit. But, I mean, Jax isn't going to do one of these, no, obviously, because no, yeah. But... <laughs> what do you mean? That's right up his alley. Richard, yeah, is right, of a course, yeah. Interesting man. He um, lifetime experience of you know, pretty much grown up on 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 ships like these, pirate ships, if you will. And uh, let's just say that he might not seem to have it all there in the old noggin, but very knowledgeable about the more obscure yeah. things that happen Reminds in the open someone. seas. Huh. There you go. Should have glanced at Jax. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, uh, which, anyway, your question. Uh, I do not fit in or fit the bill, uh, per se, but I... How did you end up here? Uh, about, I think, two years ago now, a year and a half, maybe, um, I left my, um, I'm, I'm, I, I hail from a community of Triton uh, on the northern side of, of uh, the continent, so I am native to the continent, um, so to say, but, um, I am, <clears throat> I, I grew up in a circle of druids, I, I, I possess, uh, druidic abilities, so to say, and, um, well, let's just say that I have a personal Errand, mission, uh, right, and that is R I T E, to mm. to complete before I return to my people, and uh, let's just say that it's taken me a little longer than I anticipated. And randomly, while I was just kind of swimming around the ocean, uh, f trying to find a certain place, saw this ship. And, uh, snuck on board to get an easy lift because they were happened to be going into the same direction I was going to go to. And it took them a few days before they realized that some of their supplies were going missing in the, in the shit, in terms of food. And they found me, uh, threatened to keelhaul me, but I asked Captain Vera for a chance to prove my worth. And, uh, well, I've been on the crew ever since, and a few months ago she promoted me to be her second in command, because uh, I guess I I do what I do really well. I don't know do if I should like be concerned that it took them that long to notice that they had a stowaway, or impressed that you managed to hide yourself so well. Well, it mm. helps that I can make myself invisible. Right, yeah. And presumably shapeshift, or... Yeah, I can turn into animals, you know, so... See, a six-foot-five triton stands out on a ship, but, you know... An extra cockroach six or an five extra... Six-foot-five stands out pretty much anywhere. An extra cockroach or an extra mouse, you know. What are they gonna say? You know? But, um, yeah, it doesn't matter, it happened, and um, I am where I am now, and... Let's just say that the captain... Well... She promised to help me with my uh, business, and in exchange, I help her with hers. And she's... well... an honorable person, I can assume? 
Yeah, if you make agreements with her, she's never gone back on an agreement she made with me. And I'm sure Jack's Interesting been... character for a pirate captain. Well... Uh, not particularly my place to tell, but let's just say that she has some... connections with people that... Uh, she's not as rowdy and, and, and wild as she was uh, years ago, and I'm sure Jax can, can vouch for that. She was definitely, from what I hear, quite the character back then. Oh, in some ways it was more fun. <laughs> Don't let her hear you say that, though. You of all people should know. <laughs> <laughs> well. But, um, she's, um, honorable, and... Maybe not textbook pirates, as far as, you know, the... Uh, I guess the stereotype is that pirates are really only loyal to themselves and nobody else, and... That used to be her, as far as I can tell, but due to the na the nature of some of the errands she runs and the business she does and the partners she has in those businesses, uh, made her reconsider and just made her a little more calm, relaxed. She can still be quite well, menacing if she needs to be, though. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I don't doubt that for a second. I feel like usually, usually it's the calm, quiet ones that have the most intimidating vibe. She's much more calculating now. Yeah. You never know what's going through their heads. She's hard to read, that is, that is for sure. She, when, you, when she smiles at you, you don't really know whether that is because she wants to slit your throat or because she genuinely is happy to see you. Yeah, I'll drink to that. And I'll <laughs> fucking pour out, I'll pour out some beer from my jug she, like, and a jug. Is that a jug full of beer? You'll never guess how much beer. Hmm. Tug's not too big. What's that, like half a gallon, maybe? 32 points. <laughs> well, in that, I will, well, in I that will... case, she'll like slap a mug on the table and slide yeah, towards you. Yeah, I'll start filling cups. <laughs> <laughs> now that the mess hall is full, Dutch. Sorry? Now that the mess hall is full, how many mm -hmm. crew are on the ship, like, total? Um, boo, let me quickly... Peak. I'm really trying Seven. to open. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Including you guys, there's like twelve people with like actual roles. You know, like captain, quartermaster, uh, bosun, all yeah. those people. That that makes twelve, including you. And then there's also uh, just ten more deckhands that run around. Uh, there's the there's twenty two of us on the ship, including us. Yes, correct. Cool. And you notice that there's definitely more, a lot more room. Uh, they're definitely used to sailing with more people, but it's as Vera said, that she cut the crew a little light due to the nature of the business you're attending to. The less people that know, the better, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, Kai? Yes? On your way to Strathmore. I'm, I'm assuming you travel by foot, right? When we drop you off in Aldilon? Yes, I did. And she'll kind of get a piece of uh, paper out of her uh, pocket and kind of like slides it to you. And as you fold it open, you can see that it's kind of like, it's a drawing she made of a certain constellation of stars. During your nightly travels, did you happen to have Seen some stars. Uh, what's the word? Seen some stars that, um, you know, were there the one night and then the next night you looked in the same direction and they were just not kind of shaped like this? Did I? Make a history check. I don't know, did I? <laughs> history, history, that is. Yeah, let's see if you remember. History, history. history. 23. 23. Uh, you do. Bloody actually. archaeologist. So the, uh, the, 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 like, it's like, a, it's, a, it's, it looks like a constellation that you kind of drew, just a certain, like, like, pattern of stars. Uh, that definitely doesn't look like any of the constellations that you, you know, you, you grow up learning about. Um, 
it's it's different. Uh, but you do remember like this one uh, particularly very bright uh, constellation stood out, and yeah, do you remember that having this shape? It's kind of like shaped like um, how do, how do I describe this? Um, okay, do you know? There's like you know the big bear, right? Like constellation, in the, you know, right? Um, it's that, but instead of you know normally there isn't like a line of stars on the other side. There's just one line and then it goes into the little thing. This one has that same line of stars but also on the other side. So, okay, so it looks so it looks more like a, like a pot you can hold. Right. Both yes. Sides. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. You noticed this when you were... Let me quickly whip out the fucking map of Keldar. When you were traveling uh, past Streatham on your way to Strathmore. Uh, so that would have been roughly halfway on your trip from Eldilon to, to Strathmore. And you noticed... It was, it was, they were a lot brighter than the rest of the stars. And they were only there for like half the night. It's like halfway through the night. It just kind of suddenly... It, it, it fucked off. Hold on. Are you talking about... Wait... The constellation disappeared? Am I yeah, the constellation thing? disappeared. What? Mm -hmm. Light pollution, know. bro. Damn. Uh, do, just... you, do you relay that to her? Yeah, I will just look at the thing and like... That's interesting. Yeah. I've been... Um... Obviously, Kai, you know that I, I have this weird obsession with stars and stuff, right? That's, that's not a secret. There's this constellation that I'm trying to track, right? But it keeps moving. Hmm. Yes. That's weird for stars. And that's the thing. It's moving in a certain pattern. It, it's, it's, it, it has a path, a trajectory. It's a deep full, shit now. And a full lap of this, 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 this constellation to go around, to get back to a point where it has been before. It's about 25 days. Isn't that just... Crazy? That's crazy, right? It shouldn't be possible, but it is. Out tonight. Um, I haven't checked in actually, and she'll let's have a look. Let's have a look. And do you follow her to, the, to like the deck? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. make yeah, I'm going as well. Yeah, make a perception check. Sure, yeah, that's all. I'm so glad you gave me a conspiracy theory. This is everything <laughs> I needed. I'm not gonna make a perception check. I'm just following because I'm Fuck. interested in boring. I'm making like, one. Go for it. I got a 19. Uh, 19. I got a 9. Uh, I got a natural 20 for a total oh, of 25. Right. I got a 26. 26? Well, you uh, me. Pretty much everybody, <laughs> besides, anyone that rolled over 15, everyone that's not uh, sees it. Uh, and she put, look, there it is, there it is. And you see it. But in, you know, Streatham you, you, is to your northeast. The constellation yeah. is currently to your south. So it's definitely, you know, it's definitely mm. constantly... It's it's way too it's far true. away from Streatham for it to make yeah. any sort yeah. of, like, sense in the in, in the yeah. way of, like, you know, rotation of the planet or whatever the fuck. Like, that, it doesn't make sense for it to be there. Especially... Oh my god, our D&D world is canonically spherical? Else. Sorry? <laughs> I said, oh my god, our D&D world is, conic uh, is canonically spherical. Absolutely. No, no we're man. definitely a flat Earth. No, no. Miracle! No, no. No, <laughs> we're, we're, no, we're a pyramid world. Shut up. Pyramid world. <laughs> no, you're a donut. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're a donut! <laughs> it's like the halo, but reverse. Yeah, right. do, do you see what I mean? That It shouldn't be there, but it is. How does... I, 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 it's, I need that... This is the errand I'm running. Is I'm tracking that thing because it's... it's long story. It's to do with my upbringing and my heritage and blah, blah, blah. Um, but, um... I heard of like any like religious omen or like text that would that might have something to do with other people who, like have noticed this phenomena previously and have like created some sort of like either mythological reason or like you know some um, sort of oracle one you know or something that I might have heard. What if it could it be maybe a uh, extraterrestrial? No, that's not such a thing. That. Don't be crazy. Um, I guess so there's stories of like oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. In, the, in the air. There is such thing. What do you mean? Well, there's other planes of existence. But as right, far right, as... exactly. Wouldn't that mean 
extra well, well, no, because extra this, this sea of stars is extra part material of, part of our plane. You know what I mean? But um, would I, as a, as a turtle who has who are basically obsessed with the whole night day cycle, mm -hmm. maybe have an idea what it could be? No, this is no. really something that this is very uncommon. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Um, Lazarin, mm -hmm. roll a religion check. Cool. Come on, this is where I needed in that twenty. Yeah, you need you need something big right now. Yeah. Give me a four. One in common. It's not too bad. It's a sixteen. Religion. Four. Not per se, but you do know that there is certain circles of druids that dedicate themselves to to stars, and they draw their power from starlight. Uh, and you know, you, you, you've read about them and how they, they track heavenly patterns. They've, they've been tracking heavenly patterns since the beginning of their, their existence to try and discover secrets hidden amid constellations. So this, if anything, you learn that she's definitely a part of that particular circle of druids. Okay. I'll kind of, like, look at the stars to look at her and still say, well, I've read of druid circles talk about constellations and the tracking You've of... heard of us? I've not heard of specific, you know, tales, but I know There's of not many the of us. There's our circle, well... Long ago. The other circles of druids aren't very, not particularly happy with the way we do things, because they're more, you know... Plants and the water and the animals and the blah blah blah. <laughs> they don't, you well, know. there's a circle of the moon, isn't there? Probably that's not far off. The moon and the stars. As and... far as circles go, those are probably the most understanding. But the more classic, um, you know, classic nature, you know, animals, plants, that sort of thing, not particularly happy. Um, a lot of my former friends and family uh, want nothing to do with me anymore. Um, but it's just, it's so fascinating, and I have this chart that I've made ever since I was a, a little girl, and this constellation keeps moving, and I am convinced that it is my duty to discover its secret, which is what Captain Vera is helping me with. The Circle of Stars is so cool, by the way. It's <laughs> so cool. It's like, I can't, I can't wait for this shit. It's such a such a fucking like one I've been looking something at about that page. constellation in particular moving around. It's the only one that I've seen in my in my in my in my time that does this, and I just what is I, the what what is the constellation? Well, it doesn't really have a name. I just I just kind of I never really thought to name it. It's it's because does it look <laughs> like anything? Well. It looks like, you know, it's basically, it's like a, like a Dutch oven kind of thing, like a big pot with two, like, long handles. Just... Okay. Wait, that's what the constellation looks like? Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking lame. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. I the Dutch really oven. Shit. No, <laughs> like, that's, come that's, on. That's, that's loosely the shape of it. It's not exactly yeah, that. Yeah, like no. This is the best way for me with my inability fucking of speaking hot, English hot. to describe it. Um, no, but, you, you know, you think, like, Next, oh, session, the, I'll, the next session, I'll make sure to have like, and It's just next, Chef Kirby, bro. Next session, I'll have like a proper like drawing of it to, to kind of showcase what it exactly like looks like. Teapot, teapot but that, that, that thing is... Um, it's, it fascinates me, and I, I need to know. And that's... I, I, I'm, I cannot return to my circle until I find out what this is. Uh... Hunt for knowledge is, uh, I'm wrong. Is interesting. You said it moves in a, a pattern. Yes, it does, and it is, it is, it is unique to our, to, to well, it kind of like goes around the outskirts of our, uh, you know, of our land of, of, I think, what did you call it, Agrent, right? Is your, is, 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 is the common tongue for it now? For the, for the continent, yeah. Right. It's kind of How long have you almost. Been it almost travels around it uh, in a way, but it also cuts through. Uh, and she'll whip out a map of the continent, and she'll basically. It basically skirts the edge of the continent. Until it gets to. Old. It's fucking aliens, guys! I'm telling you right now. <laughs> the crop it's, a, it's a UFO. No, it's a fucking UFO. We're gonna get abducted. Yeah. It skirts the edge of the continent pretty much con uh, continuously until it gets to the province of Tushore. Mm -hmm. uh, so the top right one. 
that's when it goes inland and it cuts like all the way south like basically cutting through Fairbro's footing and then continues its trip around the border again cuts through Fairbro's footing yeah it does does it go clock uh, i guess yeah clockwise well, yeah it does go clock. clockwise so it's so you know it it, it travels Around the edge, so like around Python, Udrana, Suikska, uh, crosses the water to Skoptrana, and then when it gets to the border of Two Shore, it just cuts straight down to the other side of the continent, to the beach, and then it continues its trip around. So it never the goes basically off Ross and like the eastern part of Two Shore. It just never even crosses over. Correct. Okay. And like and like How she said, it takes twenty five. It, it takes twenty five days for this constellation to do a full lap. Um, how how long have you been following? Uh, well, um, shit. What's, what's the last time I saw my circle? So was wondering quite a bit. Ten, fifteen years, maybe, maybe more. It's been a while. Well, I, I wonder if it has to do with. Igren becoming accessible. Perhaps, perhaps. Um, hmm. You reckon it has something to do with, you know, the revelation of this, 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 this continent to the rest of the world? Oh well, it only f functions around Igren. Um, it's true. And it only showed up, you know, fifteen years ago in your living memory, maybe longer. Well, I've been tracking it for. I'm. I'm, uh, I've been tracking it for the past 15 odd years, but it's, mm. I, 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 I've, I've been keeping this thought chart for a long time, ever since I was a wee little, little girl. Well, I say little girl, when I was adolescent, I suppose, is when I started. And, um, well, I wasn't always a part of the Circle of Stars, it's just kind of something that my fascination of, 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 the skies above took precedence and caused a lot of a lot of drama with the circles where I grew up in and long story, a lot of family drama there, but I don't have to go into that. Um but yeah, I've been tracking this constellation for the last ten to fifteen years, yes. And I've not been I've 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 heard legends of these places where, you know, um oh, there's a certain Certain researchers had they had these these tools and these 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 special magical trinkets that were supposed to help, but it's, which is ah! bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Which is uh, partially what Captain Vera helps me with. Tools is... and trinkets. Do you? Sorry. You don't have to have blueprints for the tools and trinkets. Well, I'd, one of them is well, one of the tools is in my uh, in my in my uh, cabin. If you want to come have a look. Uh, yes, that would be amazing. Yeah, sure, follow me. Uh, and her being the quartermaster, she does have like a private uh, cabin for herself on the lower deck. Uh, yeah, she invites you all in. And you can see like a proper, like pretty intricate, like telescope. Oh. Ooh. So this is, um, not sure what they call this, really. I just found it and uh, it makes it so that I can look at the stars. From, from from very very far away, but it looks like they're very close and um don't really know how it works or, or whatever. I'm, I'm assuming there's some kind of lens in it that makes it so that things appear closer than they are, but um it's helped in my studies. It helped me uh get a closer look at the constellation, but as far as cracking its secrets, it's not really been useful. Uh, have you heard of other ones? Other what? Telescope? Other, like, what, other, what, other these tools. Things? Maybe you need to like pair tools together. She'll whip out a journal and she kind of like goes through it. There is this mm -hmm. um. Okay. Fuck it. There is talks of a certain um place in this plane somewhere that acts as an uh. Any of you familiar with, with the Astral Sea? Uh, in name only. Mm. The Astral Sea I am is... Um, in the same boat as Jax, though. 
it's it's yeah. it's a plane of it's a plane of existence uh, much similar to ours it, it houses a variety of of of, of species of, of of creatures and and people that live there and um well from what i've learned as the astral sea it looks just like that like it's a sea of stars and there's just different places within this sea that houses these, these communities of people and whatever and um there's a certain race of people called gith and turns out that in the astral sea time doesn't pass so in order for the gith to reproduce they need to leave the astral sea go to other planes where time does pass so that they can get pregnant and make children and then they go back right i think because such an access point to the astral sea which is literally a sea of stars and i that is so cool by the way i'm convinced that that constellation has something to do with finding the access point to the Astral Sea. That's my... gut feeling. So, like, GIF... popping out of there to spawn, and then... Well, yes, back they, they, they reproduce much like, you know... us. You know, they, 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 the similar reproductive system. Uh, it's just, in order for a baby to grow, time needs to pass. Time doesn't pass there, so they ha they are forced to leave that plane for 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 the time being to reproduce, pop out a baby, and then whoosh, back they go. But the Gith and and the, the the Astral Sea is also a very secretive, very not many people go there. So it would make sense uh, wait. for the gateway to this mysterious plane of stars to be constantly on the move. Less people finding it, the better, right? Being a uh... A ranger such as I, right? Mm -hmm. Would I be aware of like Gith sightings on Agren? Like, if this, if they, if they, if this is, you know, you think if this is how they're coming to fucking raise their kids? Um, make a history check. Oh, it's bad. It's so bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nine. No, uh, this, this is yeah. as far as you know. You, you've this is the first time you get told about such a race even yeah. existing. No idea what a gift is. Okay. No. It's interesting, of the path it takes, that it goes I mean, straight south through Fairbus, but it doesn't follow the edges of the continent. Yeah, that is something I noticed that. as well. It does kind of cut off the, the like easternmost edge of of the continent. I don't know if that's limitations of whatever's there or something stopping it. Do I would okay? Would I know yeah. if perhaps, particularly being a ranger of Verber's footing, mm -hmm. um, what might is there anything that I know about Kafras that would be like, yeah, you don't want to fucking go there. Like, why they might not, why it might oh. avoid that. Oh, 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 hold on. Let me whip out to avoid where? the fucking oh. the actual because, um, lore. Please really. go go. <laughs> Let me whip out the actual you, fucking. You don't um, want to go there. Yeah. There's a bad street. Like, there's loads of people trying to pedal stuff. You, the only thing the about Kofros right in particular that you know is that it's the easternmost uh, province of the continent. Home to jungles, Yuan Ti, and Mystery. Not many people have gone deep into this province, and those who have gone and returned, they returned with stories of great monstrosities, and we're all a little mad after they returned. So there's definitely. What? Not, huh. If I was a fucking constellation, I wouldn't fly over Kofros either. I think a few of my compatriots have heard stories of people who've heard stories from people who've heard stories from people who've been there and either not come back or come back a little bent out of shape. So, so for if this is a gateway to allow GIF into a plane where time does pass, it would make sense for it to avoid a very dangerous place, right? Like that? That does strengthen oh, my theory a little bit. Oh no. I don't want to get all like hippie bullshit on everyone, but 
I feel like the Empire and the Kingdoms colonizing this place is going to fuck up the gifts of ability to spawn or whatever. They're going to start getting gunned down and all sorts. Well, well I'll be well, honest, I haven't tracked the well, last 40 minutes of this conversation because it all means nothing to me, but... At least he's honest. Uh, so, the constellation is shaped somewhat like a pot, almost? Uh, sort of. of. Um, yes, I mean, a pot doesn't really do justice, but it's like... Yeah. Yes, yes sort but of. two arms. And generally, maybe. you put stuff in the middle. Of two the arms. Pot. So perhaps yeah, the wings. Wings. It could be like two arms, kind of going in wings. for an embrace, kind of. Yeah. yeah perhaps sure. the the constellation circles the midpoint in a circumference. As in, like it patrols. And potentially, and so looking at the map, it would potentially be somewhere between the Sweet Sea, we are, and Crawdrat. Oh. Interesting. So you're saying that if we look for the the very middle of the pattern that this yes. constellation follows, we might be onto something. Um, I mean, perhaps. See, I've just been it's following it way for way. the past decade. I never really thought to go to the exact middle of where it's patrolling around. Yeah, I don't think I really don't know. The center of this continent just, is uh, you have to admit still that this is somewhat fascinating, right? I in your in your travels, hmm? you say it constantly moves, or does it stop and then move? Well, just l ask uh, Kai here. Halfway through the evening, the constellation just pff, disappeared. Gone. It goes. So it stops. Then uh, so moves. what time does it usually disappear? Uh, it depends. Uh, well, is it the same time every night? Yes, roughly. Not exactly, but, but roughly, yes. It's like a few minutes. Give, give it a few minutes leeway, and yeah, pretty much. When? Is Maybe that? the constellation fades in and out of the astral plane to travel. To close bigger distances with, with, with less time. What, time what if this is day? not a constellation, but some kind of vessel? It's a fucking spaceship! It's a fucking spaceship! I told you! It's a fucking UFO. Okay, I'm building a spaceship. We're working on this now. Screw the pirate ship. Screw the pirate ship. We're so, gonna go build so a spaceship. So what if this is a vessel from the Astral Sea that just constantly goes in and out of their plane, coming out of different entry points? That would mean that there's a lot of entry points. A starship, as it were. Or perhaps we need to travel to it to get to the Astral Plane. How would, we, how, would, how would we do that? Oh, my uh, head hurts. Or we'd have to build something. Listening to your wall. I, no, it's a really big ladder. I'm trying to sketch blueprints. You're really, you're really proposing we build a, 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 a sh an airship that goes that high? A starship. Well, there's... Starship. I like that. It has a nice ring to it. I, I take out my journal and go, maybe it's not... A vessel, but if this place they come from is a sea of stars, maybe they're punching a hole through the plains, and what you're seeing is some of the stars, like you're just seeing a rip in our sky and seeing the stars in this astral sea. But Do you think the constellation so might not even be yeah. in our world? Did, did you write yeah. that down? Yeah, I wrote that down and showed it to her and slid it across. So many fascinating theories. I think. Shit. Um. Wormhole. I think, honest, Jax's idea about maybe going to the middle, be slap bang in the middle of it all, might be a, in a, a good, a good <gasps> oh, mm, I, idea. Oh, real quick. Um, <laughs> it, the the special ore that I had stole, yeah, like two pieces of. It's called Arcanite, correct? Correct. Okay, I want to make sure I was remembering that right because I don't have it written in this inventory. To yeah, it's Ar that Arcanite ore. Georgia. Um, uh, perhaps we could Georgia. power the starship with Arcanite ore. Arcanite, isn't that like? Super volatile and dangerous? Well, yes, but you would also need something very powerful to get you that high. How about we just... Good idea. Put a pin in it. You know, back up <laughs> Um... Well, I suppose... Oh, shit. I know this has nothing to do with you, and, and uh, I appreciate the advice, though, but I think, I guess, my next step would be maybe... Yeah, going, I'll, I'll book some time off with the captain and I'll make a little trip to the middle of the shape 
it's it's flying around, I suppose. You'll have to keep in touch with us. I would love to know what you find. You can come with, or if, if you want. Say, or if you need some spare hands. I mean, I know you're probably very well, busy. Come cheap, though. You'll, you'll probably be... Yeah, but think of all the mysteries and... and, 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 and the potential treasures in, in a sea made people. of stars. You no. bring back something from a different plane of existence like that. A, a mysterious plane that no one has ever it's been priceless. to. It's priceless. How much money you could make from that in this plane. This realm. Well, I, you, you're probably super busy with, with a lot of things uh, being, you know, uh, yeah. Eldilon's heroes or whatever. Well, but, I mean, the one I thing mean, we're mainly busy with right now is this. And you're busy with that as well, so... I mean, heroes I is a wildly oh, accurate term. I, I wouldn't mind. Uh, you've already been very helpful. Uh, if, if you have the time and want to go on a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... <laughs> find a plane of existence that no one on this plane has ever traveled to as far as history states well no i mean i, I feel you, you know spell casters and mages and all sorts have been to every plane of existence so how would we be able to talk about it? like how would we know that it's real i suppose so but still, going. still. I suppose. Well, if you... I I do enjoy the thought of bringing back an artifact from. Hell, maybe well, you can you can bring back an actual star. How much money would that be worth? You think? I wonder if you could even touch a star. I, I, I don't know, but I intend to find out. How late is it, roughly, Dutch? Ah, uh, definitely a couple hours into the evening. Yeah, it's uh, it's getting close to bedtime. Uh, I sort of like. Well, I think we should save this conversation and have it more. We sounds good to it. So I think we should retire to our rooms and. Uh, well, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to take up this much of your okay. time. It's just once I start going, I just kind of don't stop because this is truly. This fascinates me, and I just love waffling about it. So, I mean, Thanks it for is, listening. I appreciate it. Was, it. It's definitely fascinating. And hey, if, you, if you are willing to, you know, take a trip to, where did you say it was? Like in between Sweet Sky and something else? Uh, just north of, uh, what's that lake called? Uh, the one in between Crawdrad, Sweet Sky, and We Are. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Because it's not named on the big map. Yeah. So. It might not be between, named. Oh, that's the one that you sent the other Triton to. So it has a name, but I, it, that's not on the map. And I need to go to like three different documents to try and find the name. But I, yeah, I know okay. what you mean. Don't worry about that. But yeah, that, that, yeah I, I see that name. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I'm going. So you don't have, you know, if you want to come, you can. But, you know, obviously if you're busy, I can just go and come back and let you know what I find, maybe. Fuck, I really want to go. <laughs> hey man, it's, uh, it's up to you whether you want to do this or not. It's, it's completely in your fucking Dude, you got, in your you hands. You got me deep in the conspiracy group. theory now, bro. I need to know. <laughs> this is completely yeah. up to you guys. If you want to, yeah. you know, take her up on this fucking adventure, then we'll have to see what comes up past <laughs> our uh, thing. But we we definitely need to know the endeavors, and we'll try to help what we can. Yeah, as long, as long as there are no elemental lords demanding that we fix their political problems, I'm sure we'll. Plus, time. If time doesn't pass in that plane, would that indicate that we go in and then however long we spend in there, we come out at the exact same time that we Bless go in? The, I love your optimism. But huh? the journey to the center of that province alone could be more treacherous and long winded than That's you true. might expect. And we have to get there. And then if it's not there, then yeah, what? Yeah, but I like to say. I mean, sure, it, it's all we'll well and good starship. if we. If, if we end up in the astral plane and then time doesn't pass anymore, then yeah, we can sort of fuck around as long as we want. Especially if we don't age, I mean, fuck. But getting there and get back, I mean, not many people have been that deep into that territory. What if we don't have Who to knows? walk? Well, yeah, we have a starship, whatever the fuck, then yeah, I mean, starship, might speed but... things up. <laughs> we can get an airship. We could get an airship. I, uh, I have a couple I of friends that owe me some favors. 
It would have to fly pretty high though, because I know there's fucking there's uh, a lot of different things out there that would not take too kindly to. It, it, it would still be a dangerous journey, but at least time-wise, it'll definitely shave some time yeah. off. You know. Well, anyway, um, the invitation is there if you want it. Uh, if, if not, then I'll surely find a way to get a hold of you when I get back to let you know about my findings. I, I appreciate the uh, the input. Kai just wants to say one thing. Just like steps up, like. If time doesn't pass us up there, mm -hmm. does that mean that if we go, we don't age, mm -hmm. but over here still continues? I don't know. Or is it like a time anomaly where we go in, time stops everywhere except for us in the Astral Sea where we still feel it but aren't affected by it. And then we come back and it was like we never left. I'm inclined to agree with Jax here. If we're to assume that this constellation is effectively teleporting instantly, then that would make sense. If it's, for example, going into the astral plane, moving, opening up elsewhere, it's covering that ground in no, yeah, no time. It's definitely when the constellation moves, it just, you blink, it's gone, and it reappears and it, at, the, at the next stop. You know so what I mean? For them so it, it's instant, yes. So if I if I understand this, on on the other side, they're not moving instantly. They're actually having to travel. Right. Yes. Yes. But yes. that travel happens. Yes. Instantaneous. In a snap for us, which means if we Perfect. went in, we could spend years there, and we'd come back, and it'd still be the same time here. Exactly. Yes. If, and you wouldn't age. If, so you wouldn't, you know. The Wait, do you not age there either? No, that's the whole point. Well, that's, that's why that's the, the gift, the gift have to leave birth, there have to have to birth. Bear, to bear children. I'll be, I'll be honest, I was reading my... Like the, that's the whole point. The gift need to this. leave that plane because if they don't, they can't make children because children need time to grow and time Yeah, you've lost there. me again at this point. I will trust you all. Woman become pregnant needs, a f pregnant. you know, nine months for baby to grow. But if you're in a place where there is no months, there is no days, there is no hours, there is no minutes, baby can't grow, therefore they need to leave to a place where baby can grow. As well as the kids can't age uh, to a mature age. I... I have the necessary intelligence to comprehend that, I just... I'm not that interested, I trust you all to figure it out and I'll go when we go and I'll hit things and... Well, at least he's Not honest. Um, but I've, I've, I've waffled enough about this. Um, thank you for the input. Uh, definitely gave me a, a few new things to consider. And um, like I said, you know, for the next two weeks, we'll, we'll, we'll be in touch about many things, you know, traveling together. So I'm sure the subject will come up again. And uh, well, the invite is there if you want to come along with me uh, to, to, to travel to the place. But uh, that's up to you. Whatever happens, I'll definitely find a way to report my findings to you. For, to, the, you know, to those that are interested, Brooks, I won't bore you with it, but the rest of the, your, your friends, I'll, I'll let them know. Right. It's fucking bedtime. Absolutely. Um, Mr. DM. Hello. In my downtime, because since I didn't have very much building to do, mm -hmm. I was reading signing book. Correct. Do I need to make a check to determine how many words I can learn? Yeah. Uh, make an intelligence check. Does giving the book, having the book help me at all? No. Okay, shit. Having uh, the book makes it possible for you to do this. Uh, <laughs> straight intelligence. Like, you're literally like... That's a... You have a fucking French exam tomorrow morning, and you're like trying to fucking put as many French words in your head as possible before you go to bed. From... It's, it's a four. <laughs> uh, you pick up by two. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I let you like fill in, I'll let you fill in whichever ones you want that to be, but you, you learn uh, two words in sign language. Shit and hole. There you go. Hole? Hole. H-O-L-E. Yes. I figure that might be important. All right. Um, <clears throat> ring. Yeah, it's just <laughs> the <Tell us> the... <laughs> Can you just do this when you're nervous. <laughs> um, yeah. If there's anything you guys want to do before you uh, uh, go yes. night night, I want to try and get the group together. Okay. Again, this is like 
kind of look around, see if we're out of earshot of everyone. Um, so it's all, and just kind of say like, isn't it, am I the one who finds it crazy that there's portals to the elemental realm and now this astral sea here on this continent? I just well, know. you think that's crazy? I think it's, it's a, it's a bit weird. It says I mean, me up there, there. There's stories of other yes, but access come on. to other planes on the other continent. But, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, if anything, it makes sense, right? I mean, we already have, okay, portals to fucking elemental everything. All right, why not the astral plane as well? Yes, why here? Why? Why are they so close together? Why is it a a, a gateway realm of of that's been you know hidden way? Why I write, I write more? on a piece of paper and show Elazarin. Um, my tutor said that the techniques he taught me were called the way of the astral self. So who knows? Maybe this is where it came from. Maybe. Oh my god. Elijah and I have a feeling. <laughs> that like everything came from this place. You know what I mean? This yeah, I'm having that the, the origin. World. Like every elemental plane, there gateways to everywhere. But does that mean there's a do? gateway? But then does that fucking mean blast them all at once and you make a fucking world, right? Yeah, but like, does that mean there's then gateways if it's to astral to those planes? Is there one to the Feywild here? Is there one to the hell, oh, the abyss? Oh, is, oh. Where does it stop? <laughs> you know, something's saying, is this some sort of what has been unleashed here? If Dude, this is just going over some like world door shit, and I really need to, yeah. I really, I need, I'm trying my best to like, yeah, no, <laughs> coach it, yeah. you know, hold it in. Yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> you know, well, and if the if override can control the elemental planes, apparently, who's controlling the other ones? Fuck, I'd forgotten about that override shit, and now you reminded me. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, welcome to what I've been trying to get us away from this conversation because I don't particularly wanted to talk about it in front of people we're not. 100% on. Yeah. I again write on the paper. I mean, I figured it was a given. There was access to the Feywild. I mean, I just point to Kess. But not <laughs> here, not on this continent. It's elsewhere. Fair. Um, yeah, I think what we're going for here is that on this continent, there's possibly some sort of access point well, to every which, which other one of you which ones place. of you are, are are proficient in history me i am okay those, i am those of you that are uh have a little roll like a make a history check definitely not me uh dirty 20 dirty 20 16 18. 16 18 well um given the fact that this continent wasn't known until like 30 odd years ago um because it was it was literally hidden from the rest of the world you gather that the presence of of all these different interplanar gateways you know something was trying to keep those gateways away from the rest of the world mm -hmm. and that's something that's definitely disappeared now so there's there's you gather that well you're not sure but there's definitely a connection between the fact that this continent was hidden for thousands of years and the fact that, that there's so many interplanar gateways here that has been said to me so much more that you do not understand dutch on levels that you do not know <laughs> why how much that unsettled me <laughs> remembering that sort of like thinking about it now logically allows just goes It begs the question: Would the plane, with the, if this is a you know continent of planar gateways, was the barrier that was there was that protecting the gateways from others, or was it protecting, was it protecting us, us, from, us from, the from the gateways? The gateways? <laughs> and the, the and the camera zooms out, dum, dum, dum. <laughs> and with this week. ship is just <laughs> tiny <laughs> in the yeah, sea. Yeah, 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 just like, exactly. zoom out, and you just see like these like little lights just opening up all over the constant, just like. 
different colors. Yeah. It just goes out and out further and further until it's just blinding white. And it's like, yes. end of season. And like, and like the camera pans to the fucking sky and you'll just see this fucking constellation just, and that's, that's it. Cut to black. You know what I mean? Or like, or like one, a different star changes color and shit as well. Like you just see like other shit changing. Some kind of like bullshit season ends cliffhanger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Like some like, like some lost shit with the like, by the way. By the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, that's definitely uh, a, a way to think about it. Yeah, yeah great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just going to be like, it. it's this, not intentionally now rocking in this like sort of fear, but it's sort of definitely matching the rock of the boat a little bit more than previously as he's there. <laughs> so I'm just like, but so what else, what else is here? What, what was protecting this place? Was this divine? Was this arcane? Uh, well, you know, well, it, was a, it was always a large, like, mist and a large storm. There was that doesn't this... stop it. That doesn't help. The... <laughs> that doesn't no, so Yeah, that could be that divine or arcane. So you know that the protection was nature-based. Yeah. Again, or could... elemental, some service. would say. Of elemental, yeah, that's what I mean, sorry. On the surface, yeah. yeah. Still could be divine. There's a lot of nature it's gods. True. <laughs> fair, yeah, fair, okay, fair, Okay, fair. okay, Elasrin, I think it's time for, for you to go to bed. I uh, just... You look like you're going to have. Oh, hang on, yeah, that's just a bit, night. a bit disheveled. There's a little like. <laughs> so if you go, uh, it looks like a, a raccoon that's been caught in the fucking nightlight. It's like yeah. Alastair needs to go to bed before he gets another nosebleed. Like, calm down. Do you guys think we could actually reach the sky in this constellation? Prob prob uh, probably with the constellation. Who knows I mean, how far space is? There, there are things close. that can make you fly, right? What happens if you just go straight up? You but tend to you run die, out of you? oxygen, and you, the air becomes too thin. So I can't okay, but we have caps of water breathing. Could you not make a cap of air breathing? Air breathing. The point is, there's no air. There's not enough uh, air to try and breathe in. So potentially, but you seem to be limited. Capture we air and kind of filter. Are we really about to D and D you're, you're make our man. fucking like oxygen mask for fucking like Hill Club? <laughs> God, what do we become? Probably our masks of the things that we used for the water breathing would work. What I found. Mask of breathing. What? What do you mean? He's putting his glasses on. I'll pull the uh, Arcanite ore out of the bag of holding. Mm-hmm. What's that? So, this is. He's pulling his rock out. I'm sorry. Last time. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Time to cut it, bro. Why is that meme so in your head? Yeah, dude? what the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> All right, sorry, um, go on. I, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but basically, a lot of very powerful, very unstable items have been made from Arcanite ore. Okay. So, potentially, it could help us reach the stars, or I could die trying to make it. Jack's really about to try and make a spaceship, dude. <laughs> I really want to, now, dude. You've got me. You got me you. in, bro. You if put this in my you. head. This is you, not me. You. Oh, so, only no, have yourself to blame. You, if it takes you in game like two hundred days to make like an enchanted friggin' like accessory or piece of armor, how many? I think it takes a year to make a legendary item. Yeah, how many years will it take you to make a fucking spaceship? Yeah, but he You're lives for hundred of years. You're already old. True. I'll have to go to the astral plane to make it. Yeah, yeah, go to the astral sea and then you can just make it forever. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> but we're making the spaceship to get there, so what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean? Make it make sense. Kai, you kind of hear the group is... like, go over all of this. You're just like, you really come to the realization that... Yeah, this is not an ordinary group We're of people. Epic. This is not yeah. an ordinary group of people. It's it's sort of that moment. I feel like, like I feel like yeah. I figured that out from the start. <laughs> it, it's one of those moments, you know, when you like you just realize there's someone in the room because you just got a group of mates together and you go, "Oh, this is the new friend," and it's that like. <laughs> so we probably have some explaining to do. <laughs> a little yeah, because you like Kai, you heard mention of like the override and and all these things, and you're just like, you don't know what any of that means. Probably just drinking. Mm -hmm. By the way, if I wanted to make a spaceship, I'm assuming it'd probably be a legendary item. Probably oh would no, take it's gonna be more than a legendary item, buddy. Oh, it's gonna be well, a lot of legendary, legendary items, items stuck anyways, together. It's anyways, be a spaceship. to craft a legendary item is 50 work weeks and 100,000 gold. Yeah. So we get. Oh, oh my god! Where do we get that kind of funding? <laughs> what the fuck? Elon, Dude, we'll, 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 we'll be the Christopher Columbuses of our Yo. universe. 
we'll get the we're, leaders of uh guild of uh <laughs> of the empire and the kingdoms and we'll just say it's the, the war and then they'll we'll give us loads yeah, of money we'll we we'll just exploit them right. but uh <laughs> you, you all kind of come to the realization that you talked about a lot of shit among each other while kai was just kind of sitting there in the room yeah. sipping and from it, his cup and you just kind of no no it's the we can tell you about it if you like, but to be honest with you, it's probably better if you don't know. You'll sleep a lot better. <laughs> I mean, we'll looking, have to kill you. Looking how stressed you are getting, keep it for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, there's elementals at work, okay? And uh, <laughs> yeah, like, uh, you see that, This is probably like... where Kess would be like, yeah, one of them is my dad. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> my granddad. Dad. Oh my one of them is my best mate. Way. <laughs> <laughs> We actually imagine like okay, we have hurt. a timeshare in the astral sea where we go on holiday. Oh yeah, some fucking cast bullshit. Yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> yeah, actually we are yeah. holiday home. I mean, in my everyone who's everyone has sleep. a little place in the astral sea. <laughs> it's the new place to be. <clears throat> oh dear. The locals uh, don't like that we built a Tesco there though. <laughs> Tesco. Fucking hell. Nah, Ashra, she um, surely would be like a waitress. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that this, by the end of this campaign, we're gonna be on some like fucking fun gully bullshit where the life cycle of these gifts is gonna be endangered by the fact that the fucking continent is being colonized and they don't have anywhere to go and reproduce anymore. And we're gonna have this moment where we're like, <gasps> What if we're the baddies? And then we're gonna have to we're fucking the, get rid of the empire. We we'll get rid of the fucking kingdoms. No, no, and no, no. Gonna I'm here for tur sea turtles. I'm eggs. here for Fergilly yeah. retelling and no. Let's go. No, next we are, campaign, we are, you'll do play, gonna be fine. You're, you're, next campaign, you're only allowed to play Gith, and you're gonna be playing the other perspective. Dude, uh, the spell the yeah, spell yeah, fighting back against oh bro. <laughs> the spell comes out in a few months. Oh It's gonna be fine. They're gonna have to negotiate it. They're gonna realize it's a little bit of Gith and take. Oh, oh, I hate you. Die. I hate you. No, Are we're we gonna have this moment where we're going again? to have. We're gonna have this moment where we're gonna decide. I don't even decide, but we're gonna make a choice where we're either gonna fucking start this huge like Never die. Make war. Li literally, like, we're either gonna be the people who start a war because we've made a choice like years that like, that's just meant like, oh shit, now they've gone. Oh yeah, we can exploit this. Yeah, cool. There is stuff here. Or it's gonna be like, we 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 made peace. We did a good thing. Yeah, we, or, we know, be or diplomats. Or we become fucking like social anarchists and just like. Uh, or we take over the spider For the sake of. No, it, uh, uh, for the sake of, of, of <laughs> keeping things expediency. going. Expediency. Yeah. Expediency. Um, you guys, you know, after rambling on and on about the, you know, the potentialities and the what ifs and the whatnot, <laughs> eventually you go oh. to bed and uh, the oh, next wow. morning, bright, bright and fucking early, <clears throat> Captain Vera uh, will just start. Banging on the fucking wooden beam, shaking you all awake, Oops. and and she just <clears throat> fucking choke on the she chokes on her own spit. No, uh, nice. What? She just like <laughs> up you get you lily livered scoundrels. Get some rations in your man your stations. Good morning, sunshines. Morning. Good morning. She's too happy. Morning, Captain. Good morning. Morning. Um. Here the dog that bit ya. Beer. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, get some food in ya. It's gonna be a long day. Uh, looks like there's a bit of a storm brewing, so... Oh, prepare. oh we love a good storm, Ooh. we do. <laughs> do we? After... I... Oh, go ahead. No, no, you go, you go. So after we have uh, rations, and if it looks like whenever she's done giving instructions or making rounds, I'll go find Vera quickly. Mm -hmm. You'll probably find her in her cabin. Okay. I'll knock on the door. Hello? Come uh, in? I, yeah, I, I come in. Oh, that explains the, the lack of response. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, sorry. What's, uh, what's, what's, what's going on? What can I do for you? Uh, do you want this to bag. be like a different moment or you want to... I don't know. Uh, it's... That, that's up to you. I don't mind it being not deafened, but if you want to keep it on the DL, then we can't. Nah, fuck it, it's fine, you know man. what it's about? I, That's fine, I just pull out from my bag. What are they going to do a little key? <laughs> I pull out from my bag the the lock of the weaver's hair and put it on the table and go. Oh. Um. So about that. Is that um, who's thing hair? Oh. That he asked about. Because she speaks sign language, so I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's 
she's not with us anymore. Well, at least she didn't betray us, I suppose. Definitely not. And explain where we found her and what was carved into her stomach and she'd been tortured and yeah, the whole thing. Do you like tell her the, the, you know, the name Nightwebs? Yeah. Oh, um, yes. Because that is what, what Elazarin called them, like, yes. in your presence, right? Like, that's what you, you've, yes. you've, you've told everybody that they are called the Night Webs, right, Quibbs? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we're just little idiots. Yeah, he has, and I'm pretty confident that they have not been, that, that this other, that our other group has not been infiltrated, thanks to what, um, Patron said. So I'm, I'm fine saying it, <laughs> the name to her. But yeah, that we found her in the, in the Silver Keep and Nightwebs had killed her. Yeah, this, um, had a couple of run-ins with this group. They seem particularly interested in, you know, our inner workings. They're just it jealous. seems that they were trying They're to... They're not in the club. Trying to find a way to learn more about us, and when the Weaver didn't give them any thing, uh, they tortured and killed her. Great. Um... Yeah, I'll make I'm sure assuming that... you have a way to get in touch with because so, I don't so the, I do, and that's I your proof I'll make sure to send a word to him right away thank you uh, it's good to know that she didn't you know betray us at least it's a also shame, the whole but... time I'm acting pretty awkward <laughs> and I'm like not making eye contact because I'm remembering oh, being correct. real dumb in front of her before <laughs> are you alright <laughs> yep yep good good and again, just minimal I got. <laughs> right, okay. Um, these nightwebs, these, uh, the, um, is that your first run in with them? Um, out of character, I'm like, is it? I know it's not for no. some of us, but no, I don't, no, yeah, it dies not our first run. No, that no. Is not you've our first been run. in the cart with us. Oh, when at, they, like, stopped at and Silver Key, and... yeah, right. Yeah, yeah no, so I'm so remembering, but it doesn't really count as a. I'm basically, what does she mean by running? Was, wait, like, yeah, because wasn't everything that happened at Streatham? Mm hmm. Nightweb yeah, shit as well? Uh, yeah, I'll just say, I mean. Yeah, we just didn't actually, like, fight any street Nightwebs no, until now. I'll say, it's yeah, our first it combative run in, but not our first it's encounter, fine. I'll say. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you know about them? Do you have any, any information that I could maybe pass on to our mutual friend? Uh, just... Oh, hold on. Laura's pulling... Pulling up thing, because I don't want to get this wrong. Um... It's a great much face, dude. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, they... Just that they are a group that believe they they should decide who holds power, because they just see themselves as above everyone, and they seem to know better for some weird reason, and if you disobey them or if you're not on their side then you're you're corrupt it's either you're with us or against us kind of thing mm -hmm. uh there was i guess a change in leadership semi-recently according to information um and again our patron um female one has confirmed that they have not they're not involved with us so that's that's a good thing so this group of people, they just seem to just want to have a finger in every pie, and any pies that yep. they can't get their fingers in, they just kind of try and dispose of. Yep, and I'm guessing that's why. Is there this information about the uh, about their beliefs? Um, did you find that in Silverkeep, or, or how did you come to possess knowledge of them even existing? Uh, hearsay. While we were traveling, they stopped us and questioned us at one point on the road. Fair enough. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's. I'll let. I'll, uh, I'll let our friend know. Um. Thank you very much. But um. By hearsay, she means someone here said it to us. <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong. It's. it's no. I, I heard it's it from someone. I, I, on the road. I, I'm not implying road, yeah. that that means it's unreliable or that it's just I heard it from a friend. Um. Say since they're trying, the since they're trying to get their finger in our particular pie, you want pie, me to try and protect you or not, sir? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> since, since it seems that they're trying to put that, you know, get their finger in our particular red flowered pie. Stop uh, saying that, dude. This is getting grosser and grosser by the second. Oh, well, meaty pie. Is, the, the more you keep interrupting me, the more I'm gonna have to repeat the fucking sentence to get the fucking thought yeah. out properly. So. <laughs> 
Um, I would assume so. Now that they given... are aware of your, you know, uh, your you and your friends, Kess and uh, Brooks as well now, they're, they're in your involvement with us. Just watch your back. You never know. I, I wouldn't say they know that. I mean, we went to Silverkeep more on just, again, looking for... Uh, like other information we didn't go there expressly for this purpose and i don't huh. think we tipped our hand to anyone well in that case well, try and well, make sure I mean, to I, keep it hush Kess was on her own at one point so so it's safe to assume I, I that everybody no in the whole entire continent knows of your involvement great that's great i'm kidding i, I she wouldn't <laughs> are you though um <laughs> all right well i'll i'll fucking i'll let i'll let his Excellence now, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a shame about the Weaver, but such is life, I suppose. Who's that? I'm sorry for <clears throat> your loss. I didn't really... I, I never really mm, met her, so... Yeah, I, I met her, like, once or twice, and at a meeting I wasn't particularly... And I'm not really close to her, but it's, uh, it's a shame nonetheless. Plus, uh... Well, the thing is, right, there's there's two potential things that could have happened, which is why I'm a bit... Either they tortured her, she didn't give up anything, they killed her, or they tortured her, she told them a bunch of shit, and then she was of no more use, and then they killed her. So you know what I mean? There's still no guarantee that she didn't spill any information, which is why I'm a bit, I don't know, just a bit meh about it, you know? Mm-hmm. No, I, I but that's something we'll never know. All right, at well, least, you know, I'm you didn't find her... Or, or, yeah, at least you didn't find her Being alive helping still. them. <laughs> uh, that's good. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. go just, uh, just get to your station and, uh, you know, when we yell cannons ready, make sure you're ready to, to fire. Oh, and just in case it, it might come up, I guess, um, if, oh, how much of the crew could, could I actually talk to like this? Not, not a lot? Um, funnily enough, uh, Richard knows a bit of sign language. Not, not, he's not oh, right. He doesn't know everything, but, you know, enough to have a conversation, you know, a surface level conversation with him. Okay. Other than that. Well, not the lifting drinks, though. Uh, other than that. Um, that's one of, there's a lot of Red Dragonborn on the ship, um, but I believe, was it, I think it's Drac, he, uh, knows a bit of sign language as well. Okay. Well, if, if it's needed, I have a, an emergency way, if, say, you know, during a, a combat situation, I could talk to people. And just so you're not alarmed, if you hear, like, a voice in your head that you've never heard before, it's probably me, and it's, it's, it's only, it's for emergencies only. And I, it's just, you just hear me. I can't see, you know, I can't, I can't hear your, in your head, if that makes sense. This is awkward. I'll see it when it, or hear it when it, experience it when it happens. All right. Okay. Good talk. I'm good to go now. Get to work. Yep. Yep. Awkward leave. <laughs> Alrighty. As your morning progresses, uh, Davian, can I get a whenever yeah. you know you get to the crow's nest, make a little perception check? Oh, absolutely. Rootly, and that is a twenty-one. Did your mic just change? Or am I crazy? Huh? Oh yeah, I your did. mic is like fucked. Your mic. Like, at the Discord, like, swap your mic for some reason or some shit? Yeah. It sounds like webcam mic. Yeah, right? It sounds very, like, hollow. <laughs> yeah. That's just normal Duke. Well, Duke fixes Is this things. still bad? No. No, no there he is, the boy. No, now you're good, yeah. 21. <laughs> 21. Um, you do... In the far, far distance, you do see somewhat of a storm brewing, but uh, you reckon that... So you won't be hit by that until the the evening, until nightfall. Mm -hmm. However, okay. oh, as you kind of 
look around, uh, uh, you know, you do like a full like 360 degree turn, you notice that there's some stirring going on in the water around the ship. And you see one of the oh. crewmen going towards the edge and just kind of say, like, you, your role, you hear what he's saying. Do you not hear that singing? Do I have a oh, bell? Do I have a bell? Do I have a bell? Uh, and you see, hold on. And he leans over the uh, railing mm -hmm. and you see these six feminine upper bodies emerge from the water. Oh. Long blonde hair, looking very like elven almost. Uh, not wearing any clothing, but their hair is conveniently, like, covering their breasts. And as this, like, deckhand, like, kind of leans over, you can just see one of them slightly raise up out of the water and to reveal this, like, long, spiky, like, like, pointed tail, and it just... <laughs> the tail whips up straight through the deckhand's torso, and he gets pulled into the fucking water. As no. the rest of these Disposable creatures, characters. the rest of these creatures start like these like scaly wings, like these scaly, like almost like fish membrane or like duck membrane, like between their fucking toesies, like yeah. wings sprout up from their lower back. And they start flying around the ship, just. Oh, the mics we'll, did not uh, like whatever noise you. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll pick that up. Uh, okay, they just screech it, screeching. We'll pick they it up screeched. next week, I think. Okay. Okay. Woo! Siren attack! Let's yeah. go! We're now down to 21 crew members. <laughs> yeah, one of them definitely one. got fucking snagged by a siren. <laughs> 21. Rip deckhand number three. Yeah, the sports If we get down to 16, three. then everyone can have two pints a day from the alchemy jug. That's oh. true. <laughs> there you go. Everyone can be rationed two pints a day. <laughs> Pushing fucking uh, so yeah, we'll uh, pick this up next week and we'll start off with a nice little, little, little encounter with some sirens. Oh, Ooh. starting a session of combat, dude. Some Ninos. Hell yeah. So, um, yeah, fucking nautical arc, dude. It's uh, it's happening. We're doing it. I'm ready hate for it. it. I'm hate, here for it. I, hate, I love it, but I hate what's coming out. I hate the law. I hate that. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Now how long Koi, are fucking working? Koi, Koi, yeah. Koi, but, the more you can. Koi, but IRL is now having an aneurysm of just, like, connecting with <laughs> these pieces and being like, but, but if this is what's here... What made the this, this is too much for me, bro? Well, no, the like, best part is you... how much of our rambling was such like, well, that wasn't the plot, but now it is because no. he likes it better. Or, or, no, or how so, much? I'm not gonna say much, but it's all very much what I what I intended. For oh, we're spot on. Oh, dear. Oh, like, dear. Like, we're geniuses. Partially, there's some <laughs> truths to what you've been discussing, but there's also some things that aren't entirely oh, accurate. This man, this man, the idea that like, like lol, wrong. Mm -hmm. Be. Right, Beanie is is hella invested in this, but Brooks <laughs> is like, oh, Brooks is like fuck, whatever, man. bro. <laughs> whatever, man. Like, yo, you, episode you guys, name for this you guys week, figure though? it out no. and just tell me where we're going. As long as there's fighting and money, I'm in. The episode name for this. Yeah, week we'll just make sure to point you in the right direction. And constellations. Yeah. Conspiracies and constellations. Conspiracies and James just put in chat sirens at sea. Sirens at but sea. But that should be the be next like, episode. Next week, yeah. That should be the next one for sure. Yeah. I like conspiracy and constellations for this one though. Alliteration is your favorite. Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, I figured with this being an NPC designed by, you know, cast members, uh, I figured she would come up be with some kind of job. plot hook for you guys to pursue. Yeah, we, you want to, we love I mean? Celeste. Yeah, we're making we stand. Now, we boys. stand, we our fish queen. So whenever fish the other two queen. NPCs come into play, they'll also have a plot hook for the party to follow up on if they Yay. want to. Davian Celeste romance when? Six foot five blue. It's model. funny because their heights are literally the same, but flipped. But you know? flip. He's five six, she's six five. I'm we sure you know, short, there's a song in there same. somewhere. We you love short kings. Same dude. Queen. <laughs> You're both the same height laying down. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun today. Today's session was a blast. I had a lot, of, a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a good one. And uh, yeah, we'll one. pick this up next week and we'll start off with some fucking combat, baby. Uh, and well. it won't be boiling hot anymore. Let's go. Oh, dude. That's what you guys think. It's gonna be. I swear hotter. to God, if it's hot Shut next up. weekend, I'm blaming Duke. I, I hope. It's I mean, I've seen. I've hot. seen the forecast for this weekend. Looks pretty good here. So. Uh, I yeah, hope it's, it's ten degrees like hotter. Twenty-five ish, pretty much all week here. But it's gonna. Dude, if it was forty-three in the UK, I don't know. Maybe Tomorrow someone would decide to do something about 27, it. Twenty-seven, but storming. So I'm gonna. I'm vibing, dude. Hell yeah. Right, hey, but I have two dogs weeks, that uh, need a walk, so I'm a. Uh, Dip out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. Vincent, thank you so much for the 10 months sub, baby. Appreciate you. Um, I miss Vincent. <laughs> Sai will be back. We'll see, him, we'll see him in the abyss yeah. someday.
Sai's on his. Uh, hey, our two adventure. guests, our two guest characters' names have rhymed. Sai and Kai. Sai and Kai. There you go. The next one's Die. <laughs> that's the naming convention I gave everybody. But that's already oh, in my name. Die. It's they both Pi. Die. Okay. Pi. Um, but thanks for so Don't love sticking his fingers in him so much. Catch you for the score. Wait, is that, ooh, can I do a discourse this week? Side. I don't. I might not be able to do a discourse this week, or not on Thursday at least. So unless there's assume... another day that works, we'll, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. But I think. Are, are we yeah. doing Monday things tomorrow? Are we doing? Dinner? Yeah. Ooh. Are you? Uh, <laughs> are you an away boy? I might, I might be in a He's way. traveling. No, I'm still here, oh. but I, I, I. That's what I meant, because you're not at home. I, yeah, I yeah, think you're, I you're away. Bar I have a barbecue to go to tomorrow. I think. Oh, well. Imagine blowing off the boys for barbecue. Worth it. Oh, I blow the boys, the boys out of the barbecue. The boys <laughs> out of barbecue. <laughs> and the rain won't fuck with it, because it's the fucking, like, they have, like, a little fucking thing, like a roof. Uh, a oh, gazebo. Yeah, I guess. Hey, man, live your life, yeah. King. Hell yeah. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out. Later. Bye. Bye. Later. 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 Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Do, 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 do. Now slowly, like, fade out. Just like... Bum, bum.